Welcome to the Ascend Tournament Series Black Lotus Fall Open, everybody. How's it going? My name's Sporty FC. We've got a lot of action tonight. It's the Ultimate Cups GC1, GC2 action, and you are here on the mainstream, on the sportiest stream. This matchup could be uh, a lot. There's, there's, there's so many matches. Let's take a look at our schedule. Four matches on the stream. We'll you'll be seeing everything from round one to the grand finals. And there's so much to talk about. So many teams. There's 12 here in the Ultimate Cup. Only some of those only half of those teams. Nope. Only eight teams will be in the quarterfinals. Only one team will win that grand prize of of uh, $75. I cannot speak. And this is a again what a night this could this will be what a night of action this will become. You no, know, when uh, you know we said we wanted action, we wanted good gameplay. We're getting just that here. As nice typo for the first match. Did I make a typo, Leopard? By the way, thank you for the raid, Leopard. I, I did, didn't I? Un. Look, I did. What's the, what's the typo, Leopard? You'll, you'll know more than I would. Um, as again, our first match will be 135 Sky Blue versus Team Evo Unlimited. We'll take a look at those lineups. Here we are. My reminder, all matches tonight are best of seven. And it is single elimination. Again, if we take a look at the uh, bracket, which I think we should very soon here. Uh, it will. You will see just what is happening. Just you know how big this, uh, how single elimination works in here, because there are twelve teams single elimination. Take a look. This is the bracket. Uh, we are currently. This is what our side of the bracket looks like. And a Cobra Warrior five two one on Twitch is streaming Team Evo Academy versus Lead XD Academy Gold. And that, and the winner of that will be playing Hunter Five Quant. So the winner of our match will be playing Team Nova. Zen Zero is streaming Gleed XD, uh, Gleed XD Academy Black Hunter Twenty Five Ignites. Winner of that will be playing BMX Paradox. And then Red Falcons is streaming Lotus Eight, Lotus 8 US Academy B versus Hunter Twenty Five Team Not Found. Winner of that will be playing Unleashed Warfare in the quarterfinals. Again, a lot of matches, a lot of good teams here. All matches are best of seven. As, uh, again, there's a lot of good teams here. All of you are doing well. I still don't see that up. Where's the typo? I don't see a typo here. Is you saying that I need to have two eyes in your name, Leopard? I know that sometimes your name has two eyes in it. But it doesn't show up as that officially, though. But if uh, you want me to have two eyes, in, uh, to have two guys in your name, just let me know about that. As again, we'll be getting into this uh, series very shortly. Again, single limb. You lose, you're out. You win, you move on. Oh no, I see the type of type. No, yeah, I said pinnacle cup. That's ultimate. This is ultimate cup, not pinnacle cup. Uh, there we go, ultimate cup. Thank you for thank you for telling me. I, I noticed it. <laughs> Again, we made the uh, small mistake. My apologies. Don't worry, everything should be good to go. Again, we should have everything getting sorted out very soon here. Or what will be, again, a best of seven. This will start off the night. Again, we got four rounds of action, uh, four matches of action. We're gonna get a ton of teams. Uh, we've seen Sky Blue on the stream before. We've seen Evo Unlimited on the stream before as well, actually. Uh, come to think about it. And the last time we saw Sky Blue, I think was when they played. I'm trying to think. I think it was when they played Omega Fury in the Yellowest Finals. They couldn't win that matchup. Uh, but Omega Fury actually have not made it to this part of the bracket. They were in this tournament too. They failed to make it. Evo Unlimited. Last time we saw this team, I think was when, yeah, it was when they played Ignite. Leave. They actually won that match three to two. In quite a stunning shot. If I take a look, actually, at this uh, the uh, schedule again. If we take a look here, uh, where is this matchup? I think this was a week, a week two matchup. 
Yeah, it was. When Evil Unlimited, yeah, they beat him 3-2. A huge upset uh, in that part of the bracket. But again, all these Evil teams are pretty good. Good luck on the cast. Thank you, Tommy. We'll be seeing you uh, streaming tomorrow for the quarterfinals. So, obviously, get ready for that. That's going to be another really good matchup. Tomorrow is the Pinnacle Cup. Starting at 7 p.m. Eastern. This one's starting at 6. So, again, you guys have made it on time, actually, for this matchup. As for now, though, I can see that the matchups... Uh, that the rosters for Sky Blue is going to be Eclipse, Solar, and Tiny. Even though they got Leopard, Fishy, and Kron. Again, these are some very important matches for these teams. Again, single elimination. All that really matters now is just getting wins, getting to that finals, and winning the whole thing. So, yeah, we'll be seeing these teams all night long. We're going to be following this side of the bracket and seeing how well these teams will play. But, reminder, only one team can win out of these two. Only one team can win the whole thing. And, uh, wow, this is... Yeah, you can really feel the gravity of the situation. We're getting through matches pretty quickly here, so... Be excited for that. Again, that prediction poll is still up. You guys can vote for who you think will take it. Again, I I believe Skype Blue are... No, even Limited are considered the favorites here. They had a very favorable group where they were able to come out second, only behind Quantum. As for Sky Blue, they went 2-2 two and two behind Unleashed Warfare to lead at XD Black. Well, now... These teams will have to continue their battle here on the field. They haven't met each other before, but now they have to. Let's get ourselves going. It's round one of the action. Round one of the Black Lotus Fall Open. And here you get to see it all. The best of sevens. The action, the turmoil, and the celebrations. One team will win it all. It starts in round one for these teams. They weren't good enough in their groups to get to that first seed, to get that bye in the quarterfinals. And now, they'll have to fight for it. Sky Blue on the blue side. Evo Unlimited on the orange. A best of seven series. We'll have four of them on this stream. Winner takes all. These teams are fighting for it. They've had four weeks of, of uh, group stage gameplay. Sorry, yeah, they've had four weeks of that gameplay to get all their matches done and dusted. Four matches were scheduled. These teams now get to the main bracket here. But only one team can take it. This will be a good place for both these teams to get quick wins. You don't want to start off your night slowly because fatigue can be an issue. This is a good defense from EVO Unlimited. Now passing play. Lepid shot. Solar's missed it. That's off the bar and in EVO Unlimited with goal number one. Sky Blue have been holding that offense, but Evo Unlimited waited for one chance to break out, and that shot from Leopard will go off the crossbar and in. Solar was definitely not jumping the right way for that one. And that will be a terrible start for Sky Blue, but a perfect beginning for Evo Unlimited. And look for goal two. Fishy Sauce. Pinch. Leopard. Trying to get that dunk on Eclipse, but it will stay away. As this game continues, these teams need to kind of get themselves used to this. And this, this is where kind of everything comes to a head. And now shot from Leopard. That's goal two from Leopard. Evil and Limited continue their run. This one, a great pass with Fisher Sauce to Leopard. I mean, that's the second time they've used that kind of play. And again, it has worked for them. And again, it goes in. Two goals to the favorites of this matchup. Dunk from Eclipse. Leopard. Back wall. Solar. To keep it away. Eclipse now. Fishy sauce. Back and forth gameplay, but a miss from Eclipse. And here comes some pressure. Ooh, a lot of damage in the midfield. And that means Solar's got the ball. Here comes Solar. Looking for the dribble. Maybe he's going to take it all himself. That one got bumped off. A challenge from Leopard. And one thing even limited that... I have that is really tough to beat is that defense. Their defense is quite solid. It was the reason they took down Ignite in the regular season. The reason they're currently taking down Sky Blue. They're not winning on the amount of pressure they have. They're winning on the fact that their defense is going to hold up well here. And Sky Blue is a team that have had issues with their offense before. They're a team that doesn't really have that punch. That have that, you know, player that can really take control. It's a consistent team, but when you're, they, their consistency is not enough, they do sometimes struggle to keep up. You need to see that kind of pop-off play in a tournament like this. 
That's for now, a 2-0 lead. Evo, Academ uh, Evo Unlimited not budging one bit. And they have no reason to. This one continues to get popped around still. This team's looking for a chance, Leopard. Challenged by Tiny. Fishy sauce. As this one, a good dribble past Tiny. Maybe looking for Leopard. That one dropped down. Leopard only had two. Looking for Kron instead. That one's off the bar. Sky Blue are shaking in their boots on this back line. They do not like these shots. They don't want to see these shots. And yet they've had to wait to make those saves. Kron now. Upfield again. Solar off the corner. Leopard gets over Tiny. Sky Blue demoed away. And has another chance here for Evo Unlimited. Kron. Fishy sauce in the midfield. That's a double tap. But Eclipse has got the block. And Sky Blue continue to play defense. Double commit. Leopard. Blocked by Eclipse. The, amount, the more saves they make, the more difficulties they have. And getting that ball out in the last time I have to get some time to maybe tie this game up. There's so little time for them. That time is only going to get worse for them if they cannot break out. Let's see. Here comes the clear from Kron. That will head to the corner. Solar. Leopard will send it back in. Eclipse dunk by Leopard. No second touch. Okay, Tiny. And right now, all even is doing is using that defensive powerhouse structure they have, especially with the 50s, on the midfield. And you can really tell that they're crushing Sky Blue at this point. Sky Blue do not have a way to keep up as now Leopard open space one on one with Eclipse. Gonna go for the back post shot. Great block. Sky Blue have kept themselves in it for now. Here's a pass. Eclipse. Off the bar, that one almost goes in. Follow up chance, that's in for Tiny! Quick attack from OK Tiny! And a Sky Blue side will score again! That one gets past Fishy Tiny with the shot, the finisher, and the goal to keep Sky Blue in it. One goal back in this best of seven series. Fishy. Off the ceiling, bounce right down for Krontek. Eclipse already jumped for it, open backfield the air. Kron, trying to get through Tiny. Leopard, what a block from Tiny. Sky Blue, ferocious in their attack back. Here comes a touchdown field. Fishy Sauce will find Kron, but that touch will go to Eclipse. Not on target, but Sky Blue definitely threatening. As they continue to win challenge after challenge. Here comes Tiny, that gets past Kron, but it's still not on target. Eclipse. To the back wall. Light touch in front for Solar. In for a Tiny. Shot! Score! Sky Blue will tie it up. A big play in front. They get Team Unlimited. Rolling. Chasing. But not challenging. And Sky Blue will tie this game back up late in game one. Two goals in quick succession. The next 35 Sky Blue are ready for the playoffs. In front for Tiny! Saved by Fishy Sauce. Another clear. That one will hit the ground. We're going to overtime in game one. It's any team's game to take. And how close things are being. This could be a long series. Start off our night. Leopard. We get the flip reset. Eclipse will still challenge. And now Revo Unlimited with those two goals against them haven't been so quick. Is that momentum that they gathered all but gone? Can they regain that momentum? Yes, they will! A mistake on the defense! And Leopard will score! Sky Blue played so well this game so far, but that double commit was completely unforced. And Leopard with the finisher. That's game one over. That's Evo Unlimited with the first game of the series. One game closer to those quarterfinals. Leopard with three goals. Tiny with two. What would really, really made it happen here was the defensive players in Mavon Limited. They really did not let Sky Blue have many chances that went on target. Maybe a lot of their shots were off target intentionally trying to find each other, and yet they would always be challenged. It's tough to keep up with teams like this when that defense is just like a brick wall in front of you. Sure, Sky Blue found chance at the end of the game, but man, if Mavon Limited continue to Put up that defensive force field and keep Sky Blue out. Going to give them so many chances to continue their success in the series, but it is a game one overtime win. It's really anybody's series at this point. Both these teams have learned. Both these teams have adapted. And now, it'll be up to one of these teams to win this series. Leopard. 
Oh, he's gonna look for a triple there. Good and get the handle of it, but I don't know, that does give Evo some time here. One, uh, there, there's two uh, Team Evo teams in this back, and the other one is Evo Academy. I think they're also playing. I think they're on actually Cobra's stream. Yeah, I believe they're on Cobra's stream. As uh, I remember talking to him about how the fact that we could get an Evo versus Evo semifinals. Those teams both have to make upsets in those quarterfinal matchups. Well, the demo from Leopard. Solars. We got around Kron here, but it is going to go across for Eclipse. One well, thing Sky Blue can utilize is those passing plays. They that's that's really their bread and butter on offense. They need those passing plays. It's it's what they uh, utilize. It's what they are so good at. As here comes Tiny to Eclipse. There's another pass. That one cleared by Fishy Sauce. Unlimited. Again, I tell you, this is a brick wall on defense. A lot of shots from Sky Blue though are off target. Will that be by intention or not? They haven't been able to find that out often. Here's a touch. That one. How is that gone? Still in front. Here comes Tiny. Saved by Leopard. And again, Evo Unlimited. Continuously make those saves. Kron off the back wall. Eclipse gonna get past one. Fishy now. Dunked by Eclipse. It's a free VO. Oh, but Tiny's mishandled it. Kron will keep it out. Oh, and a misplay. Double commit. Tiny. Open and in. Team Evo Unlimited. Had to save from Kron, but he needs to communicate there. That was Fishy Sauce's ball. And there's two mistakes. Fishy Sauce ducked. Keeping control when he needs to. And also that it, miscommunication. Someone needs to communicate. Uh, that's their ball. Evo Unlimited. The defense will stand strong, but they need to minimize the amount of time they stay back there. As mistakes will happen. Misplays will happen. Outplays will happen. Everything can happen. Goals will go against you. You play this kind of style. Now Sky Blue are up by a one. Can they add more? Another double commit from Evo Unlimited. You can really tell that they're really stressed about this game. I mean, game one looks so calm from them uh, in getting so many early goals, but it felt like when Sky Blue started to get their offense running, when they started to play well, Evo Unlimited have definitely started to crumble as a response, but they're putting on some shots. That one kept out by Tiny pretty easily. Fishy Sauce bumps out Solar. Will hit it the sidewall. He can give some time actually for himself to go for this shot. But it will stay well wide of any support for, from Sky Blue players. Evo Unlimited are still keeping it. Fishy Sauce. I'll leave it here as Eclipse will have that challenge. Still Eclipse. Full boost Eclipse. Flick. Saved away. At this point, both these teams are kind of sticking to being rock hard defenses. Really, they're starting to kind of, kind of ground themselves in this series. Really starting to kind of build that mo build that kind of foundation in this game as that one shot on Eclipse with a great block. Even on a little bit of a long time, they recognize they had that shot there. What if it had to do with recovering off that aerial play as Lepid. Ooh, he completely missed that one. His mistakes will not go unpunished here from Evo Unlimited. But they still in the challenge. Fishy Sauce in the midfield. Eclipse. Miss off the back wall. Here comes Fishy Sauce. Demo on Solar. Kron. Missed the ball completely. And that's going to waste all that time here for Evo. Solar. Straight to Kron Tech. And now he goes to the dribble. Kron Tech. Eclipse with the block. Fishy Sauce in the midfield. The shot doesn't come. Lepid waiting all the way back for that one. And look at this from Sky Blue. Immediate challenge in the midfield. Not going to give Evo Limited any time to get their offense going. One goal is the current difference. One goal is all that Sky Blue may need in this game. As Evo Limited can make a difference. Their offense has been stopped. Short of the goal so many times. Really, it feels like they aren't doing their job to push up when they have to. When you're this late in the game... When you're still down by a goal, you need to make some changes. You need to make some adjustments. Because this kind of offense is one that just won't be aggressive enough at, with so little time. You need to throw everybody upfield, it seems. As now, Tiny. That one. A great touch there from Tiny. Get around multiple defenders. Eclipse in the midfield. Looking across made for Tiny. Contact will clear. 30 seconds left here. Evo Unlimited need another goal. But they're not finding it. Lepid. That's a light touch. Fishy sauce. Yeah, he was looking down for Lepid, but Lepid was not expecting himself to be the recipient of that pass. Here comes Sky Blue continuing 
to waste time. One goal is the current difference. It may, and again, it seems like it may all be all that they need here. As Tiny wasting last seconds, Kron. 50 in front for Leopard. Looking down the field. Not on targets. In front. Wait a second. Nobody jumped there. Evo Unlimited let it hit the ground. And Sky Blue will take game two. A mistake on the final seconds. Nobody on Evo Unlimited called for it. And that's the end of the second game of the series. Both these teams very even. Only, again, only one can move on, but... Man, I'm so surprised Evo Unlimited suffered that much on offense when they had six shots. None of them felt all that impactful. Again, a real shocker to see me to see them not get any goals. But that is sometimes how things work, especially when the pressure's on. Moving the game three of round one here. of the Black Lotus Fall Open, sponsored by the Black Lotus Tattoo Studio. As Tron in the midfield. Fishy sauce. That one's high. Eclipse. Oh, he's actually kept it in front of his net. Follow-up shot. Oh, what a save from Eclipse. Gets down to the ground for it. Oh, awkward play for Sky Blue. They double commit, and they missed it off their own back wall. And yet Eclipse fell on top of that one to prevent it going in. And now, look at this. The yellowest finalists are now really fighting. Tiny's got the goal. And for all the defense Evo Unlimited played, that touch from Eclipse really did beat everything about them. And they really struggled as well to get to that back wall in time. A goal from Tiny. A goal that is well-deserved here for Sky Blue. As we continue in our third game of this series. Winner will move to the quarterfinals. Loser will be out of the bracket. Gone. What a clear from Solar. Can Leopard get to that one? No, he can't. That's going to go in. Solar down the field. A booming clear. Goes the entire length. Solar side. Has a rocket strapped to his back. That will find the back of the net here. And the plays from Sky Blue will not end. The offense is running with this momentum. And Evo Unlimited will have to come back here. Something that they have had difficulties doing last game. With only one goal now, they got to get two. Even more difficult than the last. Leopard. Trying to create that comeback early. In the midfield, Fishy Sauce. That one's not on. No second touch. Tron. Pretty easily dispatched by Solar Side. The shots from Evo Unlimited feel distant. And they feel weak. And you really question if they have the offense in the first place to get goals against Sky Blue. I mean, you saw it in game one, but Sky Blue very quickly started to kind of get themselves back to a more normal level, a much higher level play. And you can see them here as, again, the underdog something 30 out of their group. Really bring the fight to Evo Unlimited. It's tiny. What a dunk on Kron there. That net's open, but it's not in initially. It will stay out with that save from Leopard. For how long is the question? Eclipse. Back post. Kron with a block. Solar's missed. Kron. Dribble. One on one with OK Tiny. Looking for the bump. He won't need to get it. Sky Blue overcommitted. A simple miss off the corner from Solar's side. And that gives Kron a 1v1 opportunity. And Kron knows what to do there. Going for the air dribble bump. Some may say it's cringe, but. If it works, it, he doesn't care. It's a championship matchup. $25 are on the line here in this tournament. You'll get, you'll get your goals any way you can, especially since you're losing. That bit beat by Tiny. Sky Blue, one goal lead. I've kept it before, but again, it's going to be eerily difficult to do it with half the game left. But Diva Unlimited going to get uh, inevitably get their chances. Has a dunk there from Eclipse. Fishy Sauce. Even Limited have done well to sit very far back on that midfield line. And that means a lot of these touches from Sky Blue, which a lot of them have been clears. That's very easily to collect, uh, easy to collect here for Evo Unlimited. Sky Blue, again, are going to have to find something new to get that ball out of defense. Because the clears won't do it. 
As more time comes here for Evil Limited, more time on offense comes to them. They are going to get their goal inevitably if they continue what they're doing. Weapon. Clear from Solar Side. Sky Blue again having to be sent all the way back, but here comes Eclipse looking up for a Solar off a of ceiling. That's too heavy here. And nobody on Sky Blue wants it. As Evil Limited will go down the field. Tiny is dunked by a Leopard. But this game is still Sky Blues to win. Eclipse. The pinch gets past Fishy Sauce. Leopard. We'll try to keep it in the midfield, but Eclipse still going. Here comes a shot off the ground. Khan will take it away. Sky Blue. Continue their rush off the back wall. The solar side. The back wall has again been a difficulty here for Evo Unlimited. So probably haven't seen more of Sky Blue uh, taking advantage of that. Oh, that one for Tiny. Maybe didn't have to go off the back wall in the first place. As Eclipse off the corner. Against the back wall. Kron will take it, but he will be challenged by Solar. That pinch to the midfield for Tiny. Don't go in fishy sauce. That's still going to find his way to the midfield. Here comes Eclipse. Looking. Maybe a, a t for Tiny across the field, but... Tiny's removed by Contact. Sky Blue are just going to play the keep away game. Great challenge with Solar Sauce. But Team Wave Unlimited will wrestle that ball back. Solar. Immediate challenge for Fishy Sauce will force him to clear, but look at this from Solar, the base from Sky Blue. Going to get to every ball they can. Now he's going to look for the infield pass. Couldn't get a hand handle on that one. And with 30 seconds left, Sky Blue are in a very very favorable position. Their defense can definitely hold on to this lead. They scored first. You can really see that making so much of the difference in this game, but if they get scored on, their play style is going to be very detrimental. They have to keep this game in their favor. In their lead is Eclipse. Go clear. Kron. Backwards. Solar. Oh, look at this from Solar. Waiting. Wasting every second off that clock. It's still kept up, but for how long? Lepid. Blocked by Tiny. Here comes a, a shot from Eclipse. Kept up by the back line. Tiny. Leopard. Backflip off the back wall. But that one will be faked to the ground. Sky Blue will now take their second game in a row. Two to one. The scoreline in the series and in the game. Sky Blue are starting to take a lot more control when they get that lead. They do not lose it. So we move to game three. The real question here for Even Limited is... How do they come back? How does that offense formulate its attack? We haven't seen them really get that much success. Again, it's four shots to eight in that game. You can really see the offense of Evil Unlimited has not been successful. And as we continue this uh, tournament, game four again of the first series of the night. Minder winner will move to that quarterfinals to play Team Nova. And these teams, again, they know who they're going to play, but they're going to play against that next round if they win. There's Eclipse. Vaughn, demoed out here. Tiny. Through the back wall. Fishy sauce with that touch. Tiny's going to fake it for Solar. Vaughn will send it away. But Sky Blue are still keeping it. Although, Evil Unlimited have done better as, as times progress to keep that ball up. A lot of it is coming from these 50-50s. And again, from them receiving a lot of these clears from Sky Blue. Oh, look at this from Sky Blue. They just continue to challenge. And eventually, they'll find their breakthrough as here comes Tiny. Oh, he just cleared that one to Kron here. That bump will only limit the offense of Evo Unlimited for now. As here comes Eclipse. Fishy Sauce to the back wall. Eclipse still at it. That's a big clear. Sky Blue can get some boost, can resituate themselves in that midfield. Eventually, even get some offense. If they win this challenge. Oh. Fishy. Solar side. We'll send it out here for Sky Blue. Tiny. Oh, that's a great touch. Solar trying to get the dunk on Leopard. It'll be sent away. Eclipse. Leopard is waiting. Oh, a big fake on Eclipse. But Tiny's got that challenge. Oh, but Sky Blue aren't ready. That one is still going to be taken by Eclipse. So much defense for one team to handle, and yet Sky Blue have done well with the, with it. But they need to get the offense. They really can't be on that defense for too long before a goal inevitably will go in against them. Fishy Sauce. Clips had to watch out for Kron jumping in there, but still, a Sky Blue are keeping it out. But for how long will their defense land? Tiny 
with a dribble off the back wall. Oh, a double bump here as Solar Side also got involved on that play. Still, Sky Blue can challenge. They won't be winning that challenge anytime soon. Leopard shot. That one's high. The first major chance that was given by Sky Blue. Now another one. Leopard in front. Eclipse was bumped. Still gets the save. Sky Blue need to get control here. They're second best to every single challenge. They can't win a single one. And Kronzek will put it in. Sky Blue. We're caught chasing. And just so hesitant from Sky Blue. When they can't win the challenges, they just second guess these plays. And when you're on defense, you cannot do that. Game four, starting off in Evo in limited favor. And if you know anything about the series, whoever scores first seems to be the one to win it. It's Tiny with the pinch. Uh, off the corner. Bouncer. Fishy Sauce has it. Eclipse. That one, one of 50. Tiny. Oh, he's missed it. Here comes Solar. And that one, saved by Leopard. Solar, cross for Tiny. That one's in front. Should be a goal, but no one was there. Where in the world was those players from Sky Blue? Nobody wanted the challenge. Nobody wanted to take that chance. That should have been a goal. Now Solar. Demo is all across the field here. Both these teams going after each other. Maybe starting to get frustrated by the fact that there's been so limited scoring. One way for your offense to break through is just to demo as Lepid off the sidewall. Here comes Eclipse to Tiny. Miss there, but Kron will send it out. In another one goal game. These teams don't like to score a lot, do they? Again, it's reliance on defense, reliance on being able to keep the ball out. As the other and again, once one team gets a lead, it's up to the other team to do something that they're not used to. It is that is play aggressively, although that's a big open net. On oh, Solar had it, missed it off the crossbar. Eclipse. Jumped early. Solar. Only gonna go back to Lepid. That one is blocked by Solar, but you can tell Sky Blue having to pick up the pace here and the end of this game. Looking for the goal that will tie things up for them. A little 1v1, but this one will end much quicker and with the defense of Sky Blue winning. Solar. Challenge on Lepid. I thought there was going to be a double commit there for Sky Blue, but Eclipse was wise to sit back. Free challenge going to Evo Unlimited. Fishy Sauce to the back wall. Second touch! Fishy saved his own shot! Oh dear, Fishy Sauce! That was going in. He had the double tap and he hit it off, his, off the ground and away. And Sky Blue, I mean, they still don't have offense, though. And again, the challenges are not coming. They're waiting for this Evo Unlimited Tide. We'll waste out every second. That is open. Nobody's back. Two goals for Evo Unlimited. What happened to the 100x35 Sky Blue defense? Eclipse. Oh, where was Eclipse going? Thought he read it, but he definitely didn't. This series could go the distance. Game 7 are unlikely at this point with how back and forth this series is. Evo, for Evo Unlimited, their offense back to normal, but really a lot of this came to those bad rotations from Sky Blue. Whatever it is this game, they must not have fought those rotations whereas, ne whereas necessary for them, because the last couple games they've been perfect on the rotations. This game, they have been less than so, and when you're not playing perfectly, when you're playing inconsistently, you're not going to last long in this tournament. Because other teams will take advantage. Another goal from Leopard as he gets that dribble. And that's three goals here for the second seed. As the series will go to game five with no team on match points. And both these teams have found exploitations of each other's play style, but a lot of it comes from these mistakes. Who really makes more mistakes? Because when one team scores first, the other team just completely collapses, it feels. You need to see teams, really, when they get scored on first, to be able to make the, the, that comeback happen. Really, when one of these teams starts to play more aggressively, in fact, it kind of goes against their own gameplay, because they give up more shots as, as a result. Meaning more goals go against, in against them, meaning they've got to play up even more aggressively, and you can just see it kind of spouse out of control. But we're moving. We're moving to Game 3. Game 3, wow. Game five. Winner will move to the quarterfinals. The series has gone by very quickly, it feels. So many one-goal games. 
And yet, these teams are extremely even. As a result, this game will determine match point. Who can win the series in game six? Evil Unlimited taking one game back. And they continue that run for them here as Eclipse off the sidewall. Challenged by Kron, Tiny. Looking for the corner. Lepid. Sent away. Solar. Put it on target. Kron off the sidewall. Second touch, that one. Will go back. Eclipse will clear. But Sky Blue, you can tell. So many of these clears just going straight to even on the minute players. And again, I need to see them keep ball control because you're not going to beat teams if you just send the ball away like this. Even Limited are going to sit back pretty far for those clears. Meaning you've got a 50 with them. You've got to force them to move up to you. But you saw us. I can't believe he's just gone past everybody here. Tiny will have that one up the back wall. Here comes Solar. Lepid. Oh, Solar backwards to OK Tiny. And now maybe a chance to shoot. No, wait a second. No one was there. The defense. Vaughn was in the nets. And... Uh, simply he just side flipped. That's a confusing goal. That's a weird way for Evil Unlimited to give up the first goal of the game. And now, again, as the series has gone by, whoever scores first seems to win the game. And that means Sky Blue have such a, a, a huge, momentous uh, favoritism here. You've got to keep that kind of fav that kind of uh, run going for them. Because, sure, while stats have shown that you'll have a huge advantage when you get that first goal, they've got to prove that they still deserve it. That's mean one thing, but you've really got to prove it yourself here as Solar. Who's going to let Fishy Sauce shoot this? Tiny. Lepid. Oh, that was a shooting chance. The double commit from Sky Blue was making that net open for Evil Unlimited, but they didn't go with it. Oh, this one is also open, and this one will go in from Lepid. A bad challenge. An overcommit. Sky Blue took a chance that was not necessary. Okay, Tiny. Pushed up, was expecting that challenge from Solar to be better. But really, that is a that is tiny mistake. You have to be more defensive as that last player back. Consider what could happen. You didn't consider the fact that that challenge could go against them. And Sky Blue to push up. Eclipse. Beat by Kron. Now in the midfield. Lepid. Challenge. That's going to go to the corner. Eclipse. Gets it. Now the dribble. Ooh, that's a great touch, but it will be Kron to clear as well. The back wall, Solar, takes that one out, Eclipse now, Lepid, Eclipse again, Almost by Fishy Sauce, Solar side, on, back and forth we go, but Sky Blue's had to play more defensively this game, but again, that doesn't really mean anything, both these teams have had to play defensively in their own right, and really, Obviously, teams have done well at that. The offense, again, has been more of an issue for these teams. They haven't been able to generate all that many great chances for them. And while defense is what can win championships, you need good shooting to add to that. And that's a great shot from Eclipse. Off the sidewall. Been not have been placed much better there. Well, there was one player back on the net in Kron. I mean, Kron has, stands no chance of getting that one. That means Sky Blue with... Uh, the advantage again in game five with the one goal lead. As Eclipse. Shot. Saved by Lepid. Solar side. Will take it up. Solar. Oh, that almost went in, but Kron will send it out. Evo Unlimited sending a lot of players to that defensive line. They are sitting a lot further back than Sky Blue is at this point. Both these teams seem to take turns. And when they want to challenge, when Evo Unlimited gets shot on, it's tough for them to keep it away. It's here comes Solar. Off the corner. Fishy Sauce. Tiny. Boxed by Fishy as well. Sky Blue still searching. You can see it. You can definitely tell that that search is very limited by the fact that they don't want to give up another goal. They're in the lead. They don't have to score again. Oh, but they're going to have to now as Fishy Sauce strikes through the defense. Tiny didn't get a very good touch. Everybody else committed. Sky Blue sent everybody to that one. But they won't be faster. That is the goal for Evo Unlimited to tie this game up once again. And Sky Blue will have to answer. Eclipse. Lepid. Couldn't get it. What a shot. What a goal. Right off the kickoff. Sky Blue with the response. Eclipse. 
Far down! And it's another- it's a forced own goal there! Unfortunate. There. For Khan, but... You'll have to see it going in his own net. Again, Sky Blue right off a kickoff. Here comes Eve Unlimited trying to do it again. Leopard in for Fishy Sauce to the back wall. Eclipse doesn't have it. Fishy second touch. And it's blocked by Solar Side. A minute left. That, that's a great pinch from Solar. That's going to go all the way back. With a minute left. Even Limited again are facing a deficit. I'm sure, they, take the, they took that last game. Sky Blue are still at least winning now in those sh shooting opportunities. Eclipse faked by Leopard. Solar wins the challenge. Now he gets past another. That one's bouncing midfield. Kron. Out away from his that tiny. Was looking for that back post, but Sky Blue are not gonna get that chance there. Lepid. Well, that's a good flick from Lepid. Okay, tiny. Fishy sauce. That's a good shot! That's a good goal! It all started from this flick from Lepid. Look at the height he gets on that. That's a tough read for any player to make. Tiny. Couldn't get it to his corner. It will set up Fishy Sauce for will be another game tying goal. Even though they have not been able to take the lead just yet, but they've been able to keep up with Sky Blue. For 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds now. Next goal could be the one to win it. Here comes Tiny. Bonds bumped. The, yeah, Eclipse is not going to challenge that one. Off the corner. 50 on Fishy Sauce. Lepid. You're looking for a chance in front off the back wall. Lepid, dunk! Wait a second! That's gonna go in! Oh my goodness, Lepid! The go-ahead goal! Evo Unlimited! It's all Lepid here! That goal might have been the one to do it! Evo Unlimited were down so often in this game! But that goal, is that enough? Final! Seconds here. Kron will let it down. Yes, it is. A second a second game win in a row for Evil Limited. They're on match point now. Three games to two. We're moving to game six. That final goal from, from I believe, from Lepid. That was incredible. A solo effort. A dunk on the goal line. Talk about doing anything you can to get your team back in. Evil Limited could not get the lead. No matter how hard they tried. But in the final 10 seconds, that goal will be enough to push them across. And here we go. Game 6. Evo Unlimited. But being 2-1 down in the series is now 3-2 up with a chance to move to the quarterfinals. The pressure is on. These players are ready. This is the chance for Evil Limited to take the series here. Eclipse. The side wall. That's in the midfield. That bid will send off the back wall in a way. Now 50 from Tiny. Fishy Sauce. Lepid. Challenged by Solar Side. That one. Ooh, just going to be a little wide, but a little wide is not going to be too painful for them here. Zebra Unlimited will get that out. They'll just send it all the way. And a miss. Leopard shoots. Takes advantage. A miss off the back wall. A huge error that was made by Eclipse. You could tell how tough of read that was by how quickly he had to get to it. But he couldn't make it. Evil Unlimited are waiting for the mistake. Leopard will score. And we keep on moving, but Evil Unlimited with the game lead here. They've done better. Uh, Sky Blue's done worse at countering these plays than Evil Limited had when it comes to being down. As Fishy Sauce almost made it too, but that will be pinched wide. Solar dunked by Leopard. Okay, Tiny. Round one. Now has the dribble on Kron. That's a good touch, but no one in the midfield to pass to as Fishy Sauce will take it away. It's a quick shot there. No boost left. Solar will get to it. So many saves from Sky Blue to keep themselves in it. This is a good bounce for Tiny. Back wall. Ooh, I think Evil Unlimited have just done it to themselves here. But they still get back to it with that save from Lepid. Flip reset. And a miss there. Solar side. Okay, Tiny. Lepid. Getting through the, the, the defense. Sorry, the midfield. It won't be for long here. Evil Unlimited. 
going to sort of waste out time here for Sky Blue, trying to get themselves the offense, but they aren't comfortable in their situation here. Sitting so far back in that back line. In fact, they're so uncomfortable, they're going to double commit to that play just to get the ball up. But it will work for them. Oh, and a miss from Tiny. Kron, back pass. But nobody was there. They got to go all the way back to this one. Kron, big clear eclipse. We'll take it out for Sky Blue. Kron's still on it. Leaving it maybe for Fishy Sauce, but I don't think Fishy Sauce was uh, expecting that touch uh, to be a pass. And now, oh, an open net! Miss from Eclipse! Fishy Sauce open! That's gonna go in! And for the second time in a row, Eclipse will miss that read. I mean, Tiny did too. Sky Blue have just given up another goal. This one was a lot worse than the first one, though. It's now down by two goals. Situation could start to get dire for them if they don't get themselves on offense soon. Here comes Tiny. Eclipse. Maybe. Saved by Leopard. You can really tell e Evo Unlimited. Maybe a little nervous. You can tell they're not really pushing up anymore. Instead, they're sitting back. They're letting Sky Blue attack. They're just going to try to make sure that this team will not be successful after all. Is Leopard here from OK Tiny? Solar side doesn't have it. Fishy Sauce. Let it get it past Eclipse. Leopard. Chance to shoot. Doesn't read the ball there though. Oh, but a team bump for Sky Blue. Two team bumps from them. Almost made things tough for them, but they will still get the ball back with one quick challenge. Although that midfield's still hotly contested, and it's currently being won by Evil Unlimited. Here comes Tiny on the way back. Solar side. Back wall. Leopard will read it a big stop there, because Solar definitely can hit those double taps. The Unlimited. Oh, wait in front. Solar couldn't put it on as a player was waiting in front, and Kron Looking to block out any shot that was being made. Now Sky Blue need to get a goal. 60 seconds left on the clock. Eclipse. The Solar. That's going to find its way in. Eclipse gets the fake. And that leaves it for Solar, who will get that dunk on the goal line. Coordinated team play from Sky Blue. All they need is one more. question is now, will they? What will they do to get it? Even Unlimited will do everything they can to make sure this series ends before we even have the chance to go into Game 7. Oh, they're going to do it there. That's a good goal from Fishy Sauce. Right off a kickoff. Evil Unlimited will let Sky Blue know exactly how they feel about that last goal. With one of their own, Fishy Sauce finds the top left corner. And really, at, th at this point, it looks like Team Evil Unlimited will be the ones playing Team Nova here in just about 20 minutes from now. Still a little bit of time left for Sky Blue. All well, that time is starting to become less and less here. Eclipse. Challenged by Fishy Sauce. That will take away that solo effort. Still, Eclipse looking in the midfield. On will clear. And a tiny. Didn't know if he should commit or not. He just made the wrong decision. And he had two choices there. You either commit for it or you don't. And Tiny did neither of those. He let the play happen. He didn't do any of that. And he'll get that goal. Be a very easy one for Krontek. Even limited at another to the score line. Zeke it even further away here from Sky Blue's clutches. Game six. Might be a wrap. Another chance. That one will be blocked by Tiny, but with 20 seconds left, Evo and Limited are in firm control. And now all they have to do is just let these seconds tick away. Waste a little bit of time. That's a good shot from Kron. That's another goal for Kron. Two straight goals from Krontek. Evil Unlimited have secured the game here with that kind of a score line. 5 to 1. You don't blame Sky Blue for committing everybody up, but well, it won't work for them. There's no more time left for them. This series is over in game 6. Oh, wait, another goal. Wait a second. That's a strange one to say the very least. Fishy Sauce 
Fake tits and I don't think his teammates knew that. Yeah, that's not how you do a fake, just to let you know. Strange play, but again, as I said, even limited, we'll take the series. Ended up being that better team. Sure, Sky Blue had that kind of run in the middle of the series, but they got a couple games, but that offense from Evo Unlimited bounced back a lot better than Sky Blues did. That's the main difference. You really saw it happen here, and really everybody had their time to shine in that series. Uh, and they'll be into the quarterfinals. They'll be staying on the stream. They'll play against Team Nova next. So again, that will be our quarterfinals matchup, but again, uh, this first, the best of seven tonight. Reminder, there's four here coming. It'll be a long night of action on this stream. As again, what a series. Evo Unlimited will stay alive on the bracket. We'll move to the quarterfinals again. They're playing Team Nova there. That'll be exciting, but again, let's look at the schedule again. That will be that matchup against Team Nova. Will be our quarterfinals. And I'll have to update that soon, but don't worry, I will. What a match. Again, an incredible series. Incredible players. But that is it for that one. Uh, if I were to update, have any updates for you around the league, I can tell you another update is that on the uh, uh, is that actually if we go to our brackets, it will all really be updated for us. But again, I think all of our matches have actually been confirmed here. A four-one win here for a team not found over Lizard Academy, uh, US Academy B, and a four-zero win for Evo Academy on Lead XD Gold. Being that both Evo teams actually have a good chance of getting to this uh, semifinals match, we'll see if that happens. Though, again, we'll go to a quick break. We'll be right back very, very soon with more action here again it, when we come back you'll be seeing another match up here it'll be evo unlimited and team nova again get this series started very soon we'll go to a break we'll be right back
Alrighty then, we're back with more of the Ascend Tournament Series Black Lotus Fall Open uh, Ultimate Cup matches. We are moving to the quarterfinals. But again, what a night it has been so far. We've only had one series, but it went to Game 6. Evil Unlimited, obviously. You can see that they're playing. They won their matchup 4-2 over Unix 35 Sky Blue. Now in the quarterfinals, their next match is against Team Nova. Before we do that, we'll show you all the other streams happening around the league here. A lot of teams playing. And if we show you what's happening here again, we'll start on my side again. I'll be seeing Team Nova vs. Evil Unlimited. Cobra Stream, Cobra Warrior 521 on Twitch is going to be just Evil Academy Sweep, uh, Delete XD Gold. He'll actually be joining us for the semifinals, but he is currently going to be streaming. Looks like 5 Quantum vs. Evo Academy. And of course, Zenzo still streaming Delete XD Black Omega Fury. I believe that stream. Is currently in game four. I have to check. Let me check real quick. Let me check. The stream is actually in. Yeah, the stream is in game four at this time. I think the, I think it is Omega Fury in the lead two to one. But yeah, again that one. The winner of that one playing BMX Paradox on his stream. Obviously, Red Falcons, Red Falcon SS. I saw X-35 team not found upset US Academy B 4-1. to Now they get to play Unleashed Warfare in another best of seven. That will be on Falcons' stream. But again, you guys are here on my stream for a reason. And that's because you want to see Team Evo Unlimited versus Team Nova. Another best of seven. Team Nova won, by the way. They, sorry, not, not Team Nova. Team Evo Unlimited won 4-2. Uh, four uh, they won 4-2. Again, it's Team Evo Unlimited of the Evo organization. Again, they're playing Team Nova here, which is a team of, uh, which is a very high-level team, but it's mostly of like friends. These guys have been teammates and have known each other for a very long time. They've, if you guys have, are in the Scouters, you'll have heard of a lot of these guys. In fact, you should have heard of almost all of these guys. Bizio is one of the admins for that league. Ghosty is, an, is, is another one of those. <clears throat> I think it's a mod. Survivor has gotten involved in that. Haze is in there. Coma. All these guys here, and obviously Evo Unlimited. A lot of you are Evo fans, so. Yeah, and you want to vote for your team, and well, now's the time to do that. Vote for you, think we'll take it. Team Nova, Evo Unlimited, the Anybody Series. Again, a exciting matchup. Again, this is a big series, a big time match. Five minutes until we start. Again, you can predict on who you think will win this one. Evo Unlimited are coming off that last win, so they do have a lot of momentum with them. But Team Nova went 4 0 in their groups. They, uh, they beat the likes of a lot of teams here, actually. They beat the likes of Lotus 8 USB. Delete uh, XD Gold, they beat Nola Flight Jetstream, they beat 125 Ghost, they beat all those teams, only dropping two games. They dropped two games that whole that whole run now. I will say, I think their group is probably actually, on, on hindsight, their group, a lot of people might consider the easiest group out of all of them. Due to the fact that uh, US Academy B and XD Gold are already out of the tournament, and those are the other two teams that were qualifying in there, but, I mean, Nova's still good. You, you can't just, you know... Push off Nova and say, oh, they're not that good. No, they're good. This is a good team. you got to really play to beat them here because this is going to be tough. Again, reminder, winner will go to the semifinals uh, of a tough matchup as well. Reminder, they'll be playing the winner of Mix 35 Quantum and Evo Academy. Again, if all things go well, that will be in an hour from now. So, And that will be, joining, that will be with Cobra joining me, so that will be fun. Again, I know you guys like Cobra. He was on, he was on the stream yesterday. So he'll be on this stream again. Again, for Nova. So far, it looks like their roster will be Bezio and Ghosty. I don't know who their third would be. I would assume it would be Hayes, because that is their... Uh, that is who they list as their, kind of their top three players. Usually, you list their starters first. So, see if that's what they go with here. But for now... It's team. Again, these teams are just preparing to get into this matchup. Or again, another best seven. All matches are best of seven. Also, all matches are elimination. So, if you lose your out, if you win, you go on. And I can end right now. It could be very quick. Just one sec. My headset is tangling around me.
There we go. Sorry about that. I had to make sure my headset was actually, you know, connected and wasn't tangling around my leg. Uh, but again, we're gonna get this best seven soon. Hopefully we get Nova in the lobby just a few moments again. Can't wait too much for them. Well, we can, but I don't want to wait too much for them because I want to have a serious start on time for you all. Because these are best sevens, and an hour is, a pr is not a lot of time for best of sevens, so hoping we can get as much time as we can to get to see this series. I can already tell you Evil Unlimited already ready, but it makes sense. They just won their last series. They'd want to play this series. They'd want to play this matchup. As, uh, again, how do you guys like the tie, by the way? I, I wear a new suit. I usually wear a white suit with, like, a black tie. I decided, you know what? I'm going to go and fish for a blue suit with a red tie. I like this thing. I think it looks nice. The tie itself is pretty thin, though, but I like it. I think I look good. Again, just I, I like it. I, I look, I'm looking good today. I think, but I look, you gotta look for, good for the, for tournaments like this, right? Especially when there's a massive prize pool, seventy five dollars on the line. And again, reminder. Again, that prize pool will also be seventy five dollars tomorrow. As it will be Hayes, Hayes, Ghosty, and Bezio running in here for Nova. He's just having just gotten into that VC, so everybody's ready for this best of seven. We're starting right about on time. That's great timing here for us. Let's get ourselves going. Another best of five. Uh, best of five. Wow. Another best of seven series. This is round two or the quarterfinals. Winner will move to the semis. Loser is out. That's going to be the aim of this old tournament. It's just to get to those finals. Evil Limited have just won on this stream, but now they've got a much tougher opponent in Team Nova. Here we go. Let's get ourselves going. Nova will be their, probably their toughest match of the whole season. Again, a lot of people consider their group to have been one of the easier groups in this bracket. The other two teams already, and that again, that was Group C. The other two teams in that group already haven't been eliminated in round one. They'll beat up to uh, Team Nova to really prove that. No, just because the group may have seemed easier on paper, and in reality, does not mean they're not a, that they're not able to take these teams down. They know how good they are. I know how good these guys can play. It's going to be a tough matchup for them, even limited are a very strong uh, kind of underdog side here in this tournament. Is that a good touch in front? Oh, what a save from Hayes. Oh, did he even save it? I think Fishy may have just missed as well. Team Nova will be fortunate not to have been scored on there because that one was very close, maybe a little too close to call. And yet that won't be an issue for them. Here comes Hayes. Ghosty. Come on, off the corner. Vizio with the challenge. Leopard. Misses the touch. I'll leave it for Hayes here as Nova already putting Evo Limited on a tough situation. Evo like to play defensive. This is a team that will sit back and let you shoot, but Nova are not like Sky Blue in that they're not going to give you chances if you don't go for them. They're also not going to be as weak on offense when it comes to that shooting. They will find ways, ways to break through you a lot better than uh, what Sky Blue did. Again, this team is just much stronger and a much tougher opponent. That's why they got this by to the quarterfinals in the first place. But here's is Evo's proving rounds. If they can keep up with a team like Nova, they can keep up with about anybody in this in this uh, tournament. That's what's going to be a tough about this. They haven't really kept up with them so far in this game. Ezio. Blocked by Kron. Lepid. On the sidewall. Here comes Hayes. Fishy Sauce. Took a little time to go for it, but it does result in a good challenge here for Evo Limited. That gives them some time to go to defense and play well. Bezio, though, doesn't get that flip reset. You could already tell he didn't have it. But the fact that he uh, didn't use it very quickly there. Now Hayes. Flick back past to Bezio. In front, Fishy Sauce will keep it out. Here comes Hayes. That one's wide. Bezio will look for the light shot. Kron! Save! Bezio! In! Team Nova with the first chance and the first goal. Just pummeling the defense. They find that breakthrough. That shot from Bezio, the initial shot. That was an impressively slow shot from him. You could tell that Evo Limited were not ready for it. They wanted a fast shot so they could use that power against Nova here to get that clear. Bezio, ever the intelligent player he's always been, I think, on this field, knows that he uses his uh, his big brain to get that shot ball, got that shot to a play where the defender cannot really go for it. Now he's got goal number two right off the pass from Ghosty and Team Nova off to the quick start here. As I think many expected. Two goals already. Halfway through game one. Evo Unlimited. 
They had to go through that first round. They're not expected to take this series. It's not going to be a good start for them. And the fact, you know, they want again, they want to prove a lot of people wrong here. Again, it's going to be really tough if uh, both Nihim Nova is going to do this to you. As here comes Ghostaholic. Hayes is jumping, looking for the team pinch. Wait a second. Couldn't get it, but admire the effort from Team Nova. This team is going to take those chances. Again, this is a team that's way more offensively minded than uh, oh, Evo Unlimited is. They will push up. They will play aggressive. Unlimited. Don't mind letting that happen, but this team will actually find ways to beat you. Unlike what Sky Blue did, it did in last game. Sky Blue themselves were also a team that didn't have a lot of offense. Nova definitely will bring the offense here. As Bezio. Lepid. Comes to the midfield with Kron. Tech the clear. As a challenge. Hayes is kept to the back corner. 90 seconds left, and Team Nova are in, uh, have a strong grip on this one so far. One more goal could probably just end it here as great save from Leopard to keep that one from being a shot. As Hayes, Leopard. Leopard still got this, actually, but that touch is going to be a little bit too uh, easy to read here for Nova. He'll get it out with Ghosty. Long touch through the corner. Now, uh, a potential infield. Hayes was calling for it, but he wouldn't beat Kron to that one. Is that another infield pass? Fishy! Oh, that's, that's stopped by Kron. And here goes Hayes with the solo play the other way. Flip resets. Will he use it? No, he won't! Because the demo came through from BZO. Sacrificed himself for the greater good. Team Nova will go up by three at this point. And it was Ghost who demoed, not BZO. I just gave credit to BZO for a play that he didn't even commit. That was Ghost who demoed. Team Nova. You can also tell that they are not having any issues going for maybe some more high level mechanical plays. A lot of solo efforts, why not? Seems like a play style that they are happy to go with. Again, so far they look like they're in a pretty free kind of uh, free control kind of game as Lepid. Couldn't get that one. Towards the net as much as he wants to. He's still looking for it. That 50 it will be cleared here. Lepid back to Kron. Back wall's left open here. Kron. Second touch will. Oh, he won't find the net. He does find an awkward Team Nova, though. Oh, look at this such. Bezio, that goes straight to Fishy Sauce. Back wall, second. Still not on target. Even Limited are going for those double taps. I just can't put him on the target, though. On that net. And that will end the game one. Team Nova. I want one more goal. Ghosty, double in. A beautiful end to game one. Ghostaholic up in the air. Nobody will catch up to him. 4-0, oh, a s shutout in at game one. Exactly what they wanted. And this is a huge start for Team Nova. A quick start for Team Nova as well. As we'll move into our second game, and now the question really is, can Evo Unlimited play up to this level? You can tell they're getting crushed at this point. Their defensive style will not work here. Because the, the offense of Team Nova is just too good. So here we go, game two. And here we go again. Game two, as I said, Team Nova won game one quite emphatically. A huge, huge scoreline. As Brosty trying to go for another double tap, that will be blocked there. As that's a redirect, Brosty he's going for a lot of stuff here, because why not? He, it's it's kind of a why not mentality here for Team Team Nova. Why not go for that strange play? Why not go for that low that 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 low uh, percentage solo effort? Why not try to find each other in the midfield? It's just why not? They're not really. Trying to think too heavily about these chances, and you can just tell it works. So that bench going to go in for Hayes. Goal one for Team Nova. At this point, really, Evil Limited cannot touch this team. As that one was just pinched across. That's, again, goal one here, Team Nova. Looking for another in front. Hayes, that's off the bar. Double bump from Bezio, though. 
That one will have to stay wide for just a little bit. As around the back wall, BZO off the corner. As again, this ball just continues to ping around, even though they're still searching for their first goal of the series, but you can tell that offense. Oh, there's, it was already kind of weak last game. Uh, and it's, it's not getting any better this game, when especially when you have Nova just doing this against you. This is pretty brutal, ghosty. Okay, Hayes tried to get that one. Oh, he actually got a piece of that. That's incredible from Hayes. I didn't think he actually had any of that. I know he wanted to get a piece of that ball, but did not think he actually got a touch on it. He'll help uh, Ghosty put that one in. But again, for Team Nova, it's such a relaxed mentality for this team. They do not seem stressed at all. I know this, if, this is, if this is from them, they're saying that EVO Unlimited are, you know, really struggling to keep up with their play style or it has to do with maybe just their mentality as a whole. I mean, these guys are a group of friends. They Fun is probably something that they are looking forward to doing here as A's, the corner, Ghosty. Gets the flick. Lepid is waiting. He's still going to get dunks, though. And look at this from Team Nova. Just continue to push upfield with no regard. Or who's back? Because that's a miss from Bizio. Ghosty's bump. Oh, Kron also got bumped from Fishy, though. That's going to be rough for Evo. That was an open net for goal one. But even so, an unfortunate turn of events will mean that they won't get their, their shots when they want. But still, they're pushing. A goal has to come at some point for Evo Unlimited. They can't be scoreless forever here. It's going to take a while, and the question really is, when they do get that first goal, how many goals will Nova have scored by that point? Now, Nova only has two in this game, but they really don't need much more to secure it. Ghosty. We get the bump on Lepid. Even Limited being given a lot more space than normal here from Nova, who are sitting pretty far back. Bezio It's going to find Ghosty here and another solo effort. Oh, Ghosty gets a dribble. Bezio with the final touch. That will go in. He'll steal the goal from Ghosty. But I don't think Ghosty will mind all that much. Nova. Again, all it is. They're just waiting for Evo Unlimited to commit too high. To get that solo effort. Ghosty knows he can beat that first challenge. And Team Nova know that they can trust Ghosty on that play. And this game is just absolutely going the wrong way for Evo Unlimited. Again, I think this is more, a lot of this has to do with playstyle mismatches. You can definitely tell there might be a bit of rank disparity too, but I, again, I, I can tell you Nova I think is the higher ranked team in, out of these two. But you can tell that th a lot of it has to do with playstyle. Even limited are defensive. Their style does not work against Team Nova, who just play all on, on solo plays. They can beat out these first challenges so well. Really, it seems like the way to beat Nova is to keep them back. Something that's uh, even limited. Couldn't even do against Sky Blue, and that team was one that was a lot more allowing of that pressure. That's an open net! Fishy Sauce will find it. One goal back for Evo Unlimited as... There was a player back in Ghosty. I think he left, though. Oh, he did. He left the boost. The one thing that I think Evo Unlimited can catch Nova on is when Nova does try to push out. They push out with everybody. They do not like to sit back. That itself can be an error if you don't recognize the play in front of you. That last player back for Nova likes to get up real quickly. They like to play that support extremely quickly as well. And if, if uh, even Limited can recognize just how early that third player will rush up, they can find so much space. As here comes Lepid to Kron. Back wall. Ooh, uh, fake there from Lepid. Fishy sauce. We a backflip. It won't mean much here as Ghosty. Oh, he's missed! Kron was expecting that. That whiff will not make things easy for Evo Unlimited as Fishy, Kron, oh, he should have scored that one. That one was open here. And right at this point, Team Nova are running out of boosts here. They will get some more as Ghosty wastes some time. Still, Evo Unlimited are playing an extremely high challenge game. You can tell Team Nova are not comfortable with that. Although, look at this from Bezio. Gonna waste out some precious seconds here. Ghosty sends it long. Fishy Sauce has that block. Here comes Lepid. That one's pinched. Gone. That's in. Wait a second. Evo Unlimited have found another one, and I didn't get all excited because I didn't think that this was going to be so easy here for them. But yeah, nobody's in the right position here for Team Nova. They had two players in the nets. They needed one to push out a little bit more. Evo Unlimited are fighting back here as they're just holding immense pressure on Team Nova. You can tell when they push a high line. 
Team Nova, do not counter that very well. But Ghosty, that's gonna be putting some security back here for Team Nova. Right off the kickoff comes Ghostaholic. And Team Nova will wipe some sweat here. That one, it was a bit nerve-wracking for them, but... For, but, you know, at least for them, they'll be happy to get that one. And for EVO Unlimited, Game 2, while well, they do get more goals, while well, this is a closer on the scoreboard, it's still a lot of the same things that are hurting them here. Nova just plays offense. You have to counter that with your own pressure. EVO Unlimited are learning as... What a pinch, Leopard! How in the world has EVO Unlimited not scored that one? It went across the goal line about three different times. And yet Eva will have to see this one go away for them. That's it for game two. Team Nova again in a hard lead, but they're a little more nervous now. Recognizing Eva Unlimited can get offense and can hold that offense well if they play aggressively. If they play a high line. It's going to be up to Team Nova to really challenge that high line over and over again. To not let Eva Unlimited feel comfortable playing up that high. But for now, game two is it. That's Team Nova's game. Evil Unlimited have to make a response. Because uh, there's not many games left in this series that they uh, can lose here. They don't have that many buffers. As we will get ourselves into game three in just a few moments. Team Nova, maybe just trying to talk to each other here. They have uh, not actually readied up for this next game. They're, I think they're just trying to maybe talk to each other a little bit. Maybe get a new game plan going. Because yeah, def at the end of that game, they definitely were getting beaten by EVO Unlimited. That's probably what their big focus is for this game, not to let that happen again. But for now, the scoreline is still well in their favor. Two, two games up. EVO Unlimited have to provide an answer answer will it ever come will it ever be there so here comes leopard a stare from ghosty Hayes. Kron, that's gonna be a shot that's a goal there for Kron. again team nova have not done well with this pressure nice touch from Hayes. and that, that actually that touch from Hayes wasn't bad that touch from bzo though was not great he set up Kron perfectly for that. He needs to keep that ball more towards the corner rather than in front of his own net. It, it's been awkward for BZO this series. He's really the player I look at for Team Nova as a player that if he doesn't play well, this team does struggle. As BZO is, I think, the most mistake-prone player on this roster. It's going to be up to BZO to really prove that, yes, he is not going to make that many mistakes this, this night. He is going to play well. Team Nova are going to be just fine. What a double commit. Nobody from Evil Unlimited there to counter that. Miss Hayes. Played the dribble. Gets that dunk on Kron. Now Evil Unlimited going for the double commit, but that second touch from Fisher. <clears throat> we'll hit it to the corner. He'll keep it away here from Team Nova. Look at this from Evil Unlimited. Just keeping the ball up. A demo now from Kron. Here comes the shot. Bezio will get to that on the pre-jump. Oh, but he didn't recognize Leopard's challenge. Again, I'm very worried this, with Bezio's... Lack of awareness on defense. Seems like he, he has uh, had issues recognizing where players are at the right time. <clears throat> and what to do in those positions. Hayes. On. Through the corner. Oh, Bezio's missed. Ghosty's not going to have it. And that's another goal. And Bezio again being called to act. And Bezio's really struggles. Like, this is not a hard read, usually, for BZO. And yet he did not do, get even close to it, Kron. Did not even second-guess if BZO was going to get to that ball. Just took it himself. Team Nova are falling. Deep. BZO is not holding up his own end of the bargain here. When it's single elimination, you cannot make this many mistakes. The series could, you know, completely turn around because of it. That's Ghosty. It's good 50. We'll actually go out for BZO, who gets past Lepit. He will play, trying to redeem himself. That's a good shot! He'll get one goal back, B0. Redeems himself just a little bit here. A perfectly executed dribble. Just look at how calm this is. He sets it up perfectly. He's going at an angle. And he finds that open front post. Leopard has no chance of blocking that shot. Perfect from B0. His defense has been great, but on the offense, he'll be able to provide a goal that maybe will 
Help him. That will help his team out a little bit and it will help him maybe regain his confidence. It's Hayes now. Come on. That's going to be pounced off Fishy Sauce. Ghosty. Fishy Sauce still there. Hayes always oh, missed that one. And Fishy Sauce. Oh, he'll be demoed by Ghosty. And I haven't seen that many Demodados in this game. I just saw in the last, as, as we saw in the last series, but. I mean, they're still there. They're still prevalent. These teams are going to use it. Ghosty specifically has been a real demo expert for Team Nova. He's gone for a lot of them in crucial situations where Evil Unlimited will have one player going to be in that key op uh, option. He will demo them out as Ghosty. Tabizio not on target as that actually is quite lightly away from the Nets. He's still. Tabizio again. He's trying to raise after that one, but that was a tough read. Even for Bizio's caliber of play. And said Team Nova will look at the play out. Ghosty. Hayes. Dribble. Leopard's got that one. Ghosty again. Across. Still... Team Nova just kind of going laterally here, not putting on the shot on. Babizio waiting, waiting a little too long. Nobody from Team Nova was expecting that. They were expecting just a quick shot there. And I think he got a quick shot here, though. Babizio, shot, front post, and in. Again, Babizio making it happen on offense. This one is really a lot of it comes from Babizio. He got that down on the midfield, and then he puts that shot on. It goes to the back of the net. Team Evo Unlimited. We'll have to watch that one go in. They stand no chance of blocking it. The pressure from Team Nova starting to get to Evo Unlimited once again in this series. Here's another double commit. Evo Unlimited had a couple of those in this game where their communication is completely falling apart. Now Ghosty in front. Bizio. Oh, he wanted that fake instead. Now he'll go for the dribble. The shot. Lepid. Bizio still landing right on top of it. Here comes Lepid to clear. The preset, although it's a strange position to do it. And yeah, Ghosty recognized very quickly that Leopard's actually not going to really have much to do there, even if he does get that flip. Oh, he'll go for that challenge early. That's another great challenge from Ghosty. Hayes. And ball off the back. Nova are uh, watching from the ground here as Evo and Limited are holding control, but again, it's Ghosty on defense to challenge at a perfect time. Still, though, his team... Hasn't been able to get this ball out. Hayes with the pinch. Ghosty gets past Leopard. Go all the way back. Bronze touch will be received by Hayes. Team Nova. Bezio. Back wall. In comes Hayes. It's a big block from Fishy Sauce. Leopard will clear. And ooh, Ghosty almost made a mistake on that one. He's in fact 16 made a huge mistake on that one. But it is still saved by Bezio with a clutch play. And now Evo Unlimited have got to go all the way back. A lot of people up to that challenge. They weren't prepared to get that challenge against them so quickly from Bizio. As here comes Ghosty. Blocked by Leopard. Team Nova has definitely been their closest game so far between them and Ivo Limited, but still you can tell they have that offense. They're just not finding as much of it. You can tell that those Solvays are definitely limited as Fishy Sauce off the dunk in the double. My goodness. Get your getting his team. Putting it on his back. Fishy Sauce is here, and he means business. Nobody's stopping that shot, that's for sure. Fishy Sauce for Evo Unlimited. And now another one from Fishy. This one, though, was a little bit more of Nova. Really giving Kron a lot of open space. Bizio has to make the choice to either challenge or wait for the shot. And say he waits. I don't like that decision, and I think you can see why. There really is no good decision in that situation, though. As Evo Unlimited looking for another off a crossbar. Team Nova. Again, their toughest game so far. Really, you could tell. Evo Unlimited have gotten better every single game. Now this one, their offense was able to put itself on the board so early. We'll give them one game back, but. And th there's a lot more that they have to do to really take this here against Nova. Because Nova still have that offense. They just didn't do as much with it. They also let Evo Limited have a lot more space. And a lot of it came down to Bezio. Sure, he was good on offense, but his defense was quite t uh, terrible this game. He he'll know it. I'm sure he knows because a lot of them were simple mistakes from him. Going into game four, it's going to be up to Bezio to make some adjustments. And to really just prevent himself from making nearly as many mechanical errors. As uh, 
I think actually BZ was going for a car change. I think even he agrees that uh, this game wasn't good for him. So he's making a car change. He's going to make some sort of effort. We try to kind of reset that mentality for him. As for Ghosty and Hayes, they played relatively well. Their offense wasn't as strong as it maybe could have been, but for BZO, it's all about the defense we have for BZO here. Just making sure that he doesn't make as many mistakes. He doesn't tie himself up in bad rotations. And Team Nova are, again, currently, if, if as long as BZO kind of gets his rotation under order, they will be the better team in this series. The question is if he can, and if he can do it in time. TV Info Unlimited have found some newfound hope in this series. That last game win. Now it'll be up to them to allow that uh, win to help progress them even further. Hayes. Ghosty, challenged by Leopard. Evo Unlimited. Waiting back as we'll miss there. Oh, and Hayes went for that. Fishy Sauce double in front for Leopard. And that will go in. Now, was this another miss from BZO? I think it was. Oh, it was. And then Hayes challenged. Did not see Fishy Sauce. And again, those rotations from Nova break down when BZO cannot get to the ball. That one was also, a lot of it had to do with Hayes not putting himself in a good position there to read that initial play. He couldn't challenge it early. Left it for Fishy Sauce. And that will be a goal for Evil Eliminated. And when they get the lead, man, it's tough to rest that game away from them. Again, we saw Sky Blue not be able to do it. Team Nova will have to do it here. They want to take that match point. Flip it, challenged by Ghosty. The sidewall from... On tech. This ball continues to bounce around. That's a good touch from Bezio. Ghosty. Redirect. That one is it on target. What a save from Kron. Here comes Hayes. Oh, he didn't even put it close to that target. Is that opting to maybe try to keep possession rather than go for the shot there? <clears throat> a controversial decision. He had a shot there. and te He definitely had a chance to get a score. He didn't consider that he would himself strong enough to get it. He'll set up Ghosty. Double. In. Oh. That's incredible from Ghostaholic. And that angle was not easy. He's not hitting that very near. It's close to that back wall. He's hitting it away from that net. But he catches up to it. He puts it on. And that is pristine from Ghostaholic. The game has now been tied up. You saw what uh, we saw earlier with Fishy Sauce. And that double tap he had, I believe. But it was Fishy. No, it was Leopard. Sorry, it was Leopard who had the double earlier this game. And he said he'd raise him one. And I, he definitely has. That was an incredible shot from Ghosty. As here comes Hayes. Ghosty. Fishy Sauce with the block. Continue to challenge here for Team Nova. But you can tell that this back line from uh, Team Evo Unlimited is just so tough to break. Again, they're one of the best defenses in this Ultimate Cup. And uh, you can really tell, even against Nova, who have an offense to beat basically any team out there. Evo Unlimited is giving them troubles. Here comes Lep with the solo play. Hayes, early challenge. We'll get past Leppard on that one. On, double tap. Ezio has time to take this one, although we'll instead look for Hayes. Goes to eat, dunks by Leppard. On, good pass to Leppard. That should be in. Oh, but it has gone high. I thought that was going to be it for Evo Unlimited. I thought they were going to get the goal there. That was a perfect pass. Uh, Nilva were not in a position to save that. Obviously, the shot did not go in. That one. Will that go in? Yeah, it will. Khan's just scored as a uh, potential challenge from Hayes. He needs to do better here. He's challenging the wrong direction. When you challenge, you got to be goal side. And that's why you don't want to be challenging from your own from the side wall. So when you do, that ball is going to be pinched towards your net. Instead, a goal side challenge will be what would have won there for him. But at the very least, if he lost it, it's not going in his net. And for Team Nova, again, it's it's these mistakes that are catching them. Evo Unlimited have not done too much to try to create that offense. Instead, it's been a lot more on kind of seeing what Nova's doing, trying to hold possession, and then getting that breakthrough chance. Here comes Bezio. Hayes. That's a good shot. That's a tie game. A passing play from Nova right through the midfield. Evo Unlimited. We'll we'll, knew what was happening. You could see Fishy Sauce just up. But, like, you could tell. He wasn't getting there faster than Hayes. And the scoring continues. 
Nova, credit to them. I've definitely done a lot here to try to come back in this game. Although, I mean, you can already tell it's tough to do it against Team Evil Unlimited to get that lead back in your favor when they have it themselves. Team Unlimited team does not have momentum go against them. Asbizio, that's in. And another demo of great plays. This one from Bizio as he gets rid of Fishy Sauce. Look at how much room is given to him because he does that. Fishy Sauce was covering that whole side wall. His removal leaves Bizio with an open backfield to shoot with. And here comes Team Nova. Hayes off the kickoff. Looking for goal four. On in the midfield, Hayes. That bid. Ones to the back wall. That's a good challenge. There's nobody back. On the line, Bezio scrapes it away from going in his net. It was almost in. Bezio does just enough as... Now another challenge, Bezio. On 20 boost, will give it over to Hayes. That first touch will only go back to Bezio, who can only just neutralize that challenge. Hey, Nova are really suffering. And a lot of it comes from them really being nervous. It, boost wasn't always a, this issue for them. They just suffered from that pressure. Another miss from Beezy on the back end. So often he's given that trust and he just hasn't been able to support that trust with consistent uh, defensive stops. Reading the ball is tough, but for Beezio, it's a lot tougher than normal. And they gotta get a goal back, Hayes. Again, for Team Evo trying to, you know, slowly pull their way back, but that's gonna be tough when Bezio will make up uh, for his mistake with a goal of his own. The lead is back to Team Nova, and there's even less time now for Team Evo Unlimited to tie this thing up. 4-3, Nova are holding control, but will they continue to do so? Evo Unlimited. We'll have a lot to say here at the end of this at the end of this game. They you know just how important it is to not let the other team get match points so early. And so the series won't be over, even if Nova were to win this game, but you don't want to think about that as now. Another miss from BCO. Hayes has got that one. BCO has really struggled to get that back wall, those back wall touches. I think at this level, you need to be a little stronger at it. Especially in a tournament like this. The pressure's on. That's open for BCO. There's something that BCO has been good at. It's been scoring. That's his third goal of the game. But this shot couldn't have been much easier for him with those bumps from Hayes as he moves both Leopard and Fishy Sauce from the equation. Two goals for no uh, in the lead for Nova. 22 seconds left there in a much more calm situation here. And all they need to do is just let this time do its work, not give up another one. The pinch from Krontek off the ground. Chasing after it for Evo Unlimited. A ghosty will get there first. Pinch from Fishy Sauce. Hayes, waiting. Leopard doesn't shoot. Fishy Sauce will. But again, it's blocked this time from Hayes. And Bezio will take it for one more dribble. Maybe one more goal. Here it comes. 50. Fishy Sauce with the block. Hayes just not get the shot there. Even limited. Oh, hold actually let it to the ground. They want to keep this up for a little while longer. Fishy Sauce. All right, that will hit the ground. We're going to game five. And Team Nova have the three chances in this series to take it. But they want to make it quick. They want to make it easy. Game 5 will be their best chance to do so. But again, strong plays from Nova. The offense is there. They had to pull a, a comeback. A tough thing to do against EVO Unlimited. And yet, they've done it. But again, what a matchup. What a series. What a way to get things kind of going for them. And now on match point for Team Nova. All they need is one more game win. And they'll be in the semifinals. This last game has always been so elusive to so many teams. But for Team Nova, I mean, without the way with the way that they're playing, this last game can be taken right here. As long as their offense is ready for it. Oh, and if you get busy out chances, that offense will be ready. Only eight seconds in, and already Bezio getting himself on the board. His defense may not be great, but his offense can definitely make up for it. He has not missed that target often. He finds ways to get through defenses. 
it's a tough thing to do to beat Bizio when he's the one shooting. Is that another one up the kickoff? Open for Ghosty! And this one, only five seconds later, we've got two goals in 15 seconds. And Team Nova. And they're in a perfect start to this game. Two goals off the kickoff, Evil Unlimited. Cannot believe their eyes. A terrible beginning. And they're gonna need to recover quickly. A good shot from Fishy. That's gonna go in, that will. Another one, this is only a few seconds later. Only seven seconds after that last goal. As you saw, we'll get one for Team Evil Unlimited. That touch from Bezio just isn't good enough, and then he missed his clear. I think he uh, pants a little bit quick, a little bit more than he had to there. Again, Evil Unlimited has so much hope in this game. Again, there's four minutes, 40 seconds left. Sure, they're down by one, sure. This start is nothing like they expected and nothing like they want it to be. But they can definitely play against this team as. Hayes, oh he's missed it! Hayes went for the save, he completely whiffed! And Leopard's tied it up! How in the world he's done this? Leopard, I mean just threw it on, I don't think he expected that to go in, but Hayes, that is not a hard save for Hayes. He missed that completely. Sure he was not in a good position in the first place, but that is one Hayes you expect him to get. Oh and off the kickoff, is this another one? Ghosty's demoed. Back pass to Leopard. Bezio will pitch it out. Fishy sauce through the midfield, Hayes. Off the sidewall. Bezio. Oh, he doesn't get that touch. Leopard. Hayes. We oh, missed it as well. He flipped to the back wall. He's going to take a while to recover on that one. Nova. Ooh, a team bump as Ghosty. Has a lot of boost to work right there. He'll look for Hayes. He's missed that one. Now he's got a challenge to touch him. He his own net. Oh, dear, Ghosty. Well, it didn't make things easy here for him as he passed across to Hayes. Hayes really should be getting that. No, there should be no question on that touch. And then Ghosty took too long to challenge. Again, not challenging goal side. And for Team Nova, whatever's happening on defense, they're making their own issues here. This is not Team Evil in the minute's work. This is Nova's work. All these goals are results of their off of their bad plays on defense. And now on offense, Bezio, I don't know how he got that one. He definitely didn't shoot that. That was Hayes' shots and... Bezio will uh, somehow... Oh, he actually did shoot that. My goodness, that wasn't all even on target. A little bit of fortune for Bezio, but he'll take that goal. This team needs it. As, wow, we've only got... We haven't even gone through the first 90 seconds already. Six goals combined. Neither team really willing to prevent this from being a shootout. Leopard makes that miss in the midfield. Bezio towards the corner. Off the sidewall, Ghosty beats Hayes. Oh, that's a great recovery, and he will get to it as well. The half flip, the perfect use of the power slide. You could not have done it better if you're if you're there in that position for Hayes. A perfect recovery off of that bump because he got rocked uh, upfield. In most situations, that's a goal. Great play on uh, by, uh, by Evo Unlimited, but Hayes was able to get that block. Now back with 80, Hayes. Um, is he looking for a flick there? What a strange play that is. As, oh, you'll still get it. This is another chance for Hayes. And again, he's not going to get any time to do something fancy. All about being, keeping it simple here for Nova, at least for this point. Zeva Limited are not so nice to give them those solo plays that they had in the start of this series. Gone. Still hit it a little wide. Ghosty still reads it. And Fishy Saucy doesn't actually move that ball upward. Nova won it, but Lepid... He'll have the block. Now a touch. Bezio is waiting. And he'll hit it outwards towards Ghostaholic. That's a great redirect, Ghosty. Bezio will not get through Fishy Sauce, though. And all that offense to Nova will last all but a couple seconds. But they are still keeping it close. They're still getting these chances. The more they can do to try to push up, the more they'll actually get chances where they do push up, where they do get goals and chances to score. Bezio off the back wall. Fishy Sauce will block. Leopard, Ghosty, that one's going to elude Fishy Sauce, but it won't be on target. I'll have this dribble, BZ out the challenge. Hayes, taking his time, that's a shot straight up. But Krontek was waiting, he waited a long time for that shot to come. And by the time that it did come, he was already in a very good position as BZO. What a dangerous position, you don't want to put that ball in front of your own net. Now here's another 50. Ghosty, pinch across from Fishy Sauce, but... He'll just go straight to 
Haze. And that one will somehow get under contact. BZO, double tap, doesn't have it. No one there to shoot either from Nova. They couldn't read that one as it was bouncing off that back wall. Oh, but even Limited having trouble to read things themselves. The sidewall is being their issue. And these bios is really making things awkward, but every whiff Evil Limited make is a play where Team Nova have to slow things down because they're not expecting these whiffs from Evil Unlimited. Double commits. Ooh, a bad play here. Ghosty has the dribble. One on Kron looking for the bump. Gets it. Lepid's still there to read it. Vizio. Trying to slow this game down. It'll be demoed, but Lepid also just smashed that one to the corner. Look at this from Nova. Already pushing. Ghosty. Another solo effort. But he'll be bumped off that one too. Ezio. Not a, not a very favorable looking position for him. He didn't have a lot of boost there. He'll pick up the corner. He'll go upfield again. 16 now. Bumped away. Pinch with Ghosty. Hayes. Oh, he's, I think he might challenging there, but gets bumped instead. Leopard. Good save from Ezio as he races back to that one. Now a stealing shot from Kron. Ghosty. Kron. Near post, low play, fishy, BZO with the block. My goodness, that was close on that line. And here comes Ghosty. Hayes, so try to go to the demo. Doesn't get it on Kron. Here comes BZO. Stopped by Leopard in the midfield. Ghosty will head to the corner. And Hayes can't keep it up here for very long as BZO will let it at the ground. He's not going to try to keep that one up. For obvious reasons, he doesn't want to play the defense there. Team Nova, Evo eliminated on, on overtime. And Evo. Right off the kickoff, Lepid! Bezio backflipped! Oh my, Bezio, what happened there? His defense has not been his strong suit, but even so, he's had an issue with these, with just making the save in the first place. And we're going to game six. You would think this series would be over by now with how well uh, this uh, team Nova has played, but Bezio's defense has been downright terrible at times, and... Again, at the end of this game, I hate to hark on Bezio, because I like him. He's a really nice guy. I've talked to this guy before. He's super nice. But his defense is not great this series. And on that overtime, really, he just needed to just keep his, himself grounded there. Fought, overfought that flick completely. And we are moving to game six. Pressure only mounting here for Team Nova. They had a huge a chance in that fifth game, and they blew it. In game six, will they get another one like it? This one goes to the sidewall. Lepid. Bezio. They get through Kron. Kron doesn't have that one. Bezio doesn't have that touch either. And really, again, the whole question really is for Bezio. Does his defensive mistakes take priority here? Or can he keep himself composed? Even when the pressure is on, he's already made a mistake by pushing up that high. Unfortunately for him, he has cut down the angle for Leopard at the same time. So I guess it's not entirely a mistake from BZO. Who was Ghosty dunked by Kron? Hayes. We got through Fishy Sauce. It will go back for Ghosty, who is going to go for another solo effort. Hayes. I think he might be trying to get the bump on Leopard. He won't need to get it, though. It's Hayes. He's not done a lot of help there for BZO. He's got to play defense again. That's a good touch to Ghosty. Musty flick. Dunk on Fishy Sauce. Lepid beats out that last defender, and is Bezio going to get back in time? It's off the corner. He won't get to it. It's an own goal from Bezio, but it's not his It's not his own doing. Hayes here went for a challenge. He had no business going for. For Team Nova, they're starting to fly to force these plays. You can see that challenge. That's not a challenge they would go for earlier in this series. Nova maybe starting to get a bit frustrated with themselves. Because they, I mean, for them and a lot of people that we've seen, if they hadn't made so many mistakes, this series would be over by now. So you're starting to see it really be taking the toll on that offense. Mistakes do happen. Even the players of Nova make mistakes. And, uh, well, this one in the series, Game 7. If uh, even Limited can hold this lead, that's going to be a tough thing to do, though, because Team Nova have a knack for coming back when they're only down by one. Here comes Bezio. Long touch. Kron Tech will block Hayes. He's got to be careful because here comes Kron Tech. Second touch. That's high. In for Fishy Sauce. Off the bar and in. Nobody challenged from Team Nova. And the miscommunication here on that back line. Nobody challenged. And then it stayed that way. 
Ghosty and Hayes both uh, wanted to play the middle of the net defense there. No one was ex was really going to go for that read. Not a great decision when that one is left free there for Kron. Even Unlimited are starting to run away with this game here. They're very simple outplays. Hayes. Here we go. They now need to fight back here for Team Nova. They are getting offense, but I mean, this is where things really get tough. Evil Unlimited. Again, we've mentioned they're a brick wall on defense. You can't score on them early. They're not going to make it easy for you. Asbizio has overcommitted. That shot's not on, though. Be fa fortunate there, but we'll see if... Uh, that will late stay that way. Here's another one. Hayes has gotten to it. You see, we keep on moving. Dunk there. Come on. I get the clear. Red deal holds the corner. Hayes beat by Leopard. Ezio will take his time to challenge for it here and. Team Nova, you can tell. I mean, they're winning these challenges. They're not winning the crucial ones. <clears throat> That's the plays from Evo that prevent any plays from really becoming shots. Those are those crucial challenges, and that's what Evo is really focusing on: is just winning the challenges that they have to win, not the ones that they, not every challenge that they have in front of them. They don't need to hold control against Nova. Just to make sure Nova don't get those uh, uh, those uh, shots in a very dangerous position. Although that's a good touch from Ghosty Hayes. That's through Fishy Sauce. Leopard's got to read this one at the back wall. And, oh, that's a great touch. A redirect. And now a demo on Ghosty. A demo on Bizio. Oh, that's going to roll in for Leopard. I think that's technically called a Psycho, isn't it? That is a Psycho. <laughs> it's a strange-looking Psycho. It's one where a lot of demos need to be made to have it happen, but... Good on Leopard. It's a great shot there. The redirect off the back wall. And Evo Unlimited are ready for this Game 7. This series will continue. You know, what, what was a 3-1 lead for Team Nova has now completely got, uh, escaped them here. And they're starting to chase after this one. They're starting to try to force things here against Evo Unlimited. At this point, they have to with a minute left, but... Early in the game, they had that issue as well. And once Evo Unlimited get that first goal, it is it does feel like wraps at times. No matter what team you are, they're just their defense is just so good. They can total up, they can wait on defense. They don't really care about scoring. As, oh, we got a headlock here. Between PCO and Kron. We'll see if this uh, stays for long here. Oh, Bezio's broken it. And he's going to get bumped out. Oh, Bezio. Yeah, that's exactly what you get there, Bezio, for doing that. <laughs> he's not going to get away with that play. Bezio, no respect there. And he's going to be countered because of it. A goal from Lepid. Team Nova, this game is... Basically over. We're going to a seventh game in this series. Minder, we're just going to the semifinals. Our next matchup will probably have to be delayed just a few minutes, but our problem is Ghosty. We get through Leopard. That's a good beat there. Is that another one from Leopard? Oh, it is. It's another goal for Leopard. Four from Leopard is himself. Four and five shots. This guy cannot miss. This one was mostly just due to him with a, with a heads up challenge to catch Ghosty. Trying to go for a dribble infield. You can go see when he wasn't expecting the 50-50, when he wasn't prepared. And for Team Nova, this game has completely gotten away from them. One goal became two goals, became three, became five. Team Nova. Just a shell of the former selves. That offense was not present in this game. And you could tell, EVO Unlimited want that momentum to go to Game 7. They want that play to continue. They were destroyed at the start of the series. We're losing 3-1 at one point. But at this point, they're in so much control. They'll be forcing Game 7 at this point. And they have so much momentum going into it. Team Nova needs to reconsider. Because they only got one chance left to take this series. And to move to the semifinal. Reminder, loser of this Game 7 will be out of the Ultimate Cup. Game 7, Championsville. The first time we'll see it today. May not be the last time we'll see it.
You've eliminated. Played defense. I played clutch to get there. This point, they want to, you know, be that, you know, again that that second seed, you know, fighting against the first seed. It's it's really difficult for Evil Limited. These are such good teams at this point in the bracket. You're not going to be facing off against anybody easy. We can say another update for you all on Zen Zero side. He did finish up his uh, round one matchup with Elite XD Black versus Omega Academy. Elite XD Black won that order two. He is currently watching BMX Paramax Paradox and uh, Bleeded XD Black play. Falcon's stream is only sword for 125 not found. And he's continuing that series there. And we have game seven. We have... Oh! My lobby just kicked me out. One second. Let me make sure we get back in here for this last game of the series. Game 7. Champions Field. Winner will move to the semifinals. As Leopard and Evo Unlimited have come back from being 3-1 down in the series. To now being 3-3 free, free tied, 8 seconds in, and already they've got one goal. Leopard's initial shot was just not handled well by Ghosty. Like that from Kron. That is a very smart play to not shoot heavily, to not try to smash someone in. He knows he can take it slow, and he does catch Ghosty on an early challenge. As again, he did not get that first save uh, to be in a very good position for him. He just hit it a little too far ahead of him. Give him the chance to even eliminate. Team Nova needs to answer back. Again, came in as a number one seed on this side of the bracket. Number one seed out of their group. Evil Unlimited are the second seed from their group. And you can really tell Evil Unlimited are playing that defense. They're going to play that defense all game long. For Team Nova, their real job is just to make sure they can get uh, goals. And really to not let themselves go down at any point in this game. Because it's going to be tough to fight back. That's how Evil Unlimited plays. They plays where if they can score first, you have a tough time to beat them. As here comes Fletch and Phil from Fishy Sauce, Kron off the back wall. Hayes will have that clear. Now looking for the challenge on Leopard, but Leopard still gets it. The dribble, Bezio with the challenge. Leopard. The side wall, Kron. Bezio won't be able to do much there to beat Leopard, but here comes... Uh, Hayes to do the same thing. You can just tell everything's just dying in the middle field here for Team Nova. They're not getting anything to work for them. As here comes a flick, but it's Sniper to beat him. Ghosty, miss! Hayes will get this block, and I know for Team Nova, it's so much defense. They're playing a lot of backline play, but it, that's left open by Claude! Ghosty's found it! Nova with the answer! And Kron got a bit boost hungry when he shouldn't have. Ghosty finds that net, slides it through towards that back post. When you give him an opening, Ghosty, he's been playing exceptionally this series. He'll find those shots, he'll find those chances, and he will take them de uh, graciously here. A tie game at last. Leopard off the sidewall. Hayes sent downfield. And Evo got to get to this one. Miss in front for Hayes. Saved by Quantec. Three minutes left. Bezio has it. Quantec's got that too. Nova searching. They saw a mistake. Couldn't score off of it. Evo Unlimited play defense well. And now it's Evo's chance. Leopard. Left for Fishy Sauce. That one's on. That one's in. His first shot of the game. Fishy Sauce makes it count. Leopard with the assist, it was a strange one, it went off the ceiling, but it's perfectly placed here for Fishy Sauce. You won't be seeing players miss that shot often in this league, in this cup, at this level. Evo Unlimited, continue to stand strong, Ghosty. Hayes doesn't read it. Ghosty off that sidewall, Bezio. Still on it is Bezio, couldn't get that one on, Leopard's touch, Kron's got a challenge. Evil Unlimited will have to play. Uh, uh, we'll have to play clutch backline plays, clutch goaltending here. And make sure Nova cannot take this game. 
Leopard. Offense again for Evo. Going off the back wall. Bezio's got that one. And Hayes will clear it through the midfield. Still Hayes. Ghosty. Oh, he wanted that one. I, Hayes could have scored that, actually. Evo Limited was surprisingly low on the defensive structure in that back line. It's an uncharacteristic position for them to be in. Yet Nova couldn't get it. And now, oh, they don't even get that one either. It will be cleared by Hayes. Bezio. Allen's by Fishy Sauce. Time running out from Team Nova. They're still not focusing too heavily on that clock, and I don't think they should. All he needs is one goal. Adding extra pressure will not do any good for them. Let's go up the back wall. Bezio, one on one. Fishy Sauce with a block as he challenges early. Lepid. Through the ground, doesn't have it. This game seven continues. Bezio in front. Fake on two. Evo Unlimited on low boost. Everybody's running on fumes at this point. Team Nova are just swiping, starving them here. Trying to see if that defense will break at any point because of the low boost. But they are still getting blocked in all these crucial plays. There's a good 50 for Fishy Sauce. Leopard. Dunk. Is this one on? It is on. Save in front for Fishy Sauce. That one's too weak. Nova will scramble to get to it. And in fact, that clear will do good enough to get them upfield again. Bezio, Ghosty, saved away. Bezio again. On. I launch that one out, but it goes go to Hayes. Lapid with the block is the back wall. Awkward here. Shot! Ghosty takes it with 31 seconds on the board. And it was Kwan who wanted to in his own net. He didn't get the block. And Team Nova are still well and truly in it. Game 7 of the quarterfinals. Leopard dunked by Ghosty. Hayes. That one off the back wall. Ghosty! Redirect! Team Nova! An absolute stunner on the field! They hold the lead with 20 seconds left. Lepid, trying to have the answer. Ghosty clears, Quantec can't get it. Evo Unlimited had so much control, they had a lead at this game, but it was taken away from them in the final seconds. And now they need to fight their way back. Tekken's ticking down. Zevo seconds now. Ghosty will end it there on Zevo. One more goal for Nova. They're moving to the semifinals. What a series back and forth. The game seven. It's Team Nova, the favorites who will prevail. Their offense doesn't off at the end. They'll be moving in to the semifinals. And they'll be at the top four. But it was close. It was tense. A 4-3, a game seven worth to watch. I'm so happy we got to see it here. Unfortunately for Team Evo Unlimited, that is the end of their run. They couldn't make that 3-1 comeback happen. Again, they're moving on. The play in those semifinals. What a matchup. That couldn't have been much more intense. And again, it's only the quarterfinals. We still have a semifinals, grand finals to go. Again, I am trying to see what's happening again. They will be playing the winner of 135 Quantum Evo Academy. In fact, that's just the first of the uh, quarterfinals and uh, the other quarterfinals were delayed by some amount of time. Meaning, again, we'll delay, we'll delay, don't worry, we'll delay. Again, our matches are set to be on the hour, but obviously with it being a tournament. That doesn't, that's not always true. But my goodness, a lot of you, uh, again, to all of you, uh, well, to all of you uh, Team Nova supporters, that was quite the series. It must have been very... Very uh, scary to watch. But they take it. They're moving on. As we actually got a result, it's Evo Academy. I think they've actually just won in the sweep. As the raid coming in from Cobra Warrior. Hey, there's the raid. Cobra, I'm assuming your match was a sweep. 
Welcome in, Cobra. We'll make sure we get you in to join me. But again, we'll be off to a quick break. I know these guys will want this match on the hour, but we're going to have a slight delay. Again, what a matchup. We'll be back again. It is Team Nova and Team Evo. Uh, sorry, Team Evo Academy. So we got another Evo team coming up again. That's a big matchup. We'll make sure. We'll. I'll, I'll make sure we'll be back soon for that matchup. But again, Team Nova versus Team Evo Academy. A big match, full of big players, big aspirations. But you'll have to see that match in just a few minutes.
Welcome back, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We've got some semi-finals action coming up. And joining me is the lovely Cobra Warrior. How are you doing, Cobra? I am doing quite well. It has been an uh, interesting night here on my side of the bracket. So uh, very excited to now be able to share that with you and actually be able to connect with you on uh, what has been a really fun tournament so far. Yeah, it has been. It's a long day. Like, that's the thing about it. It's yeah. a long day. Like, we're enjoying this as much as anybody else is. It's a fun tournament. And, uh, again, you being one of the guy, one of the uh, free casters that's going to be here all weekend. Yeah. It's, it's pretty fun. As Again, I got my suit and tie. It's a blue suit, a red tie. Dressed well. I got I to gotta dress well. You know me. I'm, I, I'm known to dress well. Yeah, you, these kind of listen, stuff. So. Any, any time it is, it is required. It's, it's always you, a good time for a tie. Are, yeah, it's always a good time for a tie. You are always on top of it. <laughs> as, uh, let's take a look. Add us back here. Yeah, you said it was an exciting, exciting, interesting. I can't speak. That's the wrong thing. I just <laughs> I accidentally showed the screenshot of I think it was my tweet from yesterday. My bad. Uh, yep. <laughs> whoopsies. I, again, I told you guys I am totally fine. I promise you. Uh, again, we'll take a look at your side of the bracket here. Again, yeah, everybody's seen my side of the bracket. It was a game six and a game seven. It's been long. Evil Unlimited yep. almost got that three one uh, three one comeback against Nova, but they couldn't make it happen in the final seconds with an incredible redirect from Ghostaholic. Now on your side of the bracket, please tell us about what yeah. happened, about what happened here, because uh, well, yeah. it was it looks pretty pretty quick for you. Yeah, I mean it is start to finish. It has been really quick. So this Evo Academy team that came in against uh, Deleted XD Gold, I uh, really thought that series would end up being a little bit longer. The first game was back and forth, ended up being a five four uh, game that went into overtime i believe five four or six five something like that they were back and forth scoring uh basically near the final seconds uh towards the game and going to overtime and then evo academy ran away with it they they truly started to frustrate xd gold a few double commits uh a quick 4-0 for them then the interesting game the game that i was really looking forward to on this side of the bracket being 100 x35 Quantum, who were 4-0 in their groups, mm -hmm. dominant, only yeah. dropping one game in their groups. They had a, a, you know, a plus 11 game differential. Um, and we, we had a delay because we actually had one of the players you know, get a little bit late off of work. Uh, 20 minutes. Evo Academy, within their rights, uh, could have taken the forfeit. Uh, they chose not to. They chose to wait. They're like, we're here to play. Uh, I was in the VC with them. They're like, hey, listen, we're here to play. We're here to have fun. Winning is not important. The vibes... They pass the vibe check, right? Uh, Quantum <laughs> get their player. Uh, they start off. It, it, it's it's Cobra approved here. Yeah. Cobra approved Cobra vibe approved check. vibe checks right now with uh, with this Evo Academy team. Uh, they get in a couple really close games. You can tell Quantum didn't have a lot of time to warm up. A couple of their players. It was their first games of the day, um, and I, I think it was like a one zero or a two one game in the beginning, and then Evo Academy again started to really let loose in games number two, three, and four. And basically in game number four, when Quantum needed it, it was a quick three goals uh, that took Quantum completely out of it. I mean, they they absolutely shooed this team away. And Evo Academy, they I mean, they look impressive. They are on a mission. And they have to run, I mean, potentially, they have to run the entirety of this gauntlet. Um, and they're doing it in the quickest way they know how, which is they win every game. Yeah, Evo Academy have had a lot of wins. Their only loss was in that first kind of regular seat. Kind of, I think in week two. Yeah, they lost to the BMX Paradox in a game set, in a game five. That team is still playing. As again, we are so excited for this one. I know again, Zen's is falling a little bit late, but again, let's take a look at our bracket here. That's again, no, not that. Come on, flip up the right thing. There we go. On the other side of the bracket, we I do have a result on the team lock foul matchup. Maybe unleashed warfare four to two, meaning of the first seeds. Only one of them is actually in the semifinals for now. Yeah, I mean it's it's really a any given day kind of uh, tournament. That's that's what it's feeling like. It's feeling like there's not really that advantage, uh, you know, coming from those group stages translating into uh, the tournament play, which I mean honestly makes it a a really interesting kind of day. And you know, if anyone you know made any brackets beforehand, I'm sure they would be busted um, as all heck but i mean I, that's the, that's the the wonderful thing about rocket league especially with these teams at this level there's not a ton uh you know between them so if they find you know their moment here they really take it to any kind of team yeah they do and 
It will say an update on the last match here of the quarterfinal that's being played again. Zen's match was delayed, so... And uh, it's also taking a long time. It's in game six. And right now, take a guess what you think the uh, series scoreline is and uh, what the game scoreline is. Um, game score... So I would guess... It's, it's obviously it's 3-2, but... Yeah, who's, obviously 3-2. Who's two. winning I'm the series? I'm going to say deleted XD Black because uh, uh, is, is up 3-2... Um, on BMX, that's that's what I would guess. What do you think this? What do you think the game scoreline is? Game scoreline right now. Um, I think deleted is is up on them as well. I think they're up in the. Now they're, they're losing the game, but they are leading three two, uh, meaning yeah, that again another number one seed is having a lot of difficulties. Did not think it would be so that, but again that is the kind of thing about momentum that helps you so much. Momentum can be everything. It, it can yeah. really turn you around. For Nova, you could saw you saw that momentum of uh, Evo in the minute almost take them out there at the end of that series. They need a little bit of time to get used to them, and now, well, now they got to take on Evo Academy. As you said, Evo Academy is, I think, considered the stronger of the two teams uh, yeah. uh, from Evo. And well, this is a scary matchup for Nova because if they're having that many difficulties with Evo in the minute's defense, Evo Academy is going to make that even tougher. Yeah, and I, I think really it's Evo Academy at least have shown their ability to really get into form like match on match on match. I mean, I, I think the first one, the, the first series of the day, I, I would argue that it was, you know, a little bit sloppy defensively. They were letting in a lot of goals. It was, it was a shootout. One of those games in the second yeah. series, it was not sloppy offensively, but it was, it was a defensive, you know, route basically where it's just the defenses were stopping everything and all of a sudden, they stabilized and then dominated the rest of the series. So for Nova, I'm really interested to see because I, I feel like they have to really take the air out of the Sifo Academy roster. Otherwise, uh, a series like this can get away from them uh, with, with how well they're playing right now. Yeah, of course. And yeah, these teams have been playing well, but the finals are on the line for these teams. We go to the semifinals, Team Nova. Versus Team Evo Academy, another Evo side taking on the team that beat Unlimited. Reminder, the finals are on the line, and so is that $75 prize pool. Only the winner of this tournament will get that. We've got down from 12 teams down to the top four, and these two teams have done well to get there, but they've still got to keep on playing. It's been a long day for uh, these teams, but they've got to be able to keep that energy up, because this day is only going to get longer if they can continue winning. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not their fault that, you know, they, they possibly have to play three or four best of sevens, but it is their problem. Like, they, they have to be willing to kind of play this kind of game because it's just, you know, yeah, just how the cookie crumbles here. But it, it is all about, you know, how consistent can you be over a certain stretch of time? And a lot is going to be asked of these players here. How, you know, how long can they play at their peak? Um, and right now, I think Nova, you know, got tested. They were resilient here, and they resilient right now. Pass across, and to that player right there, Vizio. I mean, goes to Hall like a wonderful pass, kind of finding them in open space, and wonderful way to slot that one in. A perfect slot from Vizio. He's been he was the offensive player last game. It's funny, but Vizio is, I, could, I would consider him like a glass cannon. He, yep. His offense is insane. His defense has been very suspect this series. It's been the reason that Nova had to go to Game 7 in the first place. A lot of it comes to his defense. Just having uh, some of its issues, but if he can get shots, that's where it really gets scary for this Nova side. When they can push up, uh, the defensive issues from Bezio don't really become an issue. It becomes more of a game of can, what, can and when will Bezio score. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those oh. things where you want to get that player going, but one of the things you really want to be careful of is this side finding each other in transition. They really do a great job of of putting the ball in awkward spots for the defense. Seth Palm finding a little bit of space here, and this maybe feels like a game that could go back and forth for these two offenses here as another one off the kickoff here. Evo Academy waking up early. They set their alarm to 6 a.m. in the morning. They've been ready for this. I don't think they actually set their alarm at 6 a.m. knowing that they're gamers. <laughs> Let's be real honest yeah. here. It's that's, weekend, that's actually when they gaming. went to bed. 6 a.m. Yeah, all what, night. They, they finally woke up before the tournament. It's all about the grind. And yep. I mean, they keep doing his BZO. Oh, no. I mean, just come, wow. this guy can, does not miss. I tell you, BZO, when yep. he gets on the ball, you have to, you cannot stop him. His shooting is impeccable. Again, his defense, 
His suspect. That's the funny thing about BZO. He, but if you, if he has a real weapon though, he has like the knife of this of this Nova side. If you can use that on offense, I don't see a lot of teams stopping him. Even even Unlimited, who are one of the best defenses in this in this tournament, that's gonna be really tough to stop when BZO is just you know blocking. It's just going on everything that he can get his hands on. Yeah, I mean, typically, you know, when we're talking about team environments, you want to talk about enabling, you know, your your teammates to do stuff. The really wonderful thing about Bezio, sometimes he just is able to create so much space alone and, you know, doesn't necessarily always need that from his teammates. I mean, does get it, you know, has uh, Ghost to Hollow, like has, uh, you know, pays to be able to back up. But sometimes oh those opportunities are created on their own. Right now, no creation there on the defensive side. You can see double commit here. They kind of take each other out of the play and a wonderful pinch pass off that back wall. And it's basically every player from Evo Academy there and ready to put that one away. Yeah, it was a great pitch up that back wall. But I, I, again, I tell you, it's Manova. It's there have been shades where they've just not looked good and they have been shades where they have looked good. I don't know what that team bump was over there yeah. for. <laughs> I, saw, I saw that. I'm thinking, what in the world are they doing over there? There was no pressure on either yeah. Bezo or Hayes, and somehow they ran into each other. The that only two cars on that side of the field, and they, <laughs> that was a great, yeah, that was a great angle. I got to see all of that. I don't yeah. know what happened over there to create that situation. You don't usually bump your teammate when you're in a calm situation. Is oh. oh dear, Ghosty, that was very close there. Team Nova starting to find this pressure a bit unbearable from Evo Academy. Evo Academy aren't gonna sit back like Evo Unlimited did, and let the pressure comes up, no. They're gonna make sure you don't even get pressure in the first place by keeping the ball in your half. Yeah, and it feels like right now they're <laughs> Team Nova just kind of recovering from that snafu earlier. Uh, but you're absolutely right, this Evo Academy team. I mean, once they kind of sink their teeth in you, they do not let go. They do not let you get any space. And each of these players have really, uh, you know, taken to assaulting the backboard and finding a little bit of room to make this happen. Um, so has has been one of the most dangerous so and risky <laughs> um have been connecting and they're just feeling it right now sporty yeah i'm not surprised risky hit that i mean if you've heard about this if you've heard enough about this league you'll know everybody's been talking about this guy risky has been insane and he's just passed the seth palm a goal for evo academy i tell you risky he is something else this guy he could 1v3 nova and that is a very yeah. scary sight to think about yeah and again look at that shot i mean the shot's good but they're also uh what you don't see stow the bump on that last defender sending him back basically to the center of the field no one there something maybe off the kickoff here for evo academy but uh, this is basically what they've been doing they've uh, this is you know late series form from them we haven't seen a dominant game one from them so now the fact that i'm seeing this i i'm a little bit worried here for team nova having to deal with with Evo playing this well this early. Well, yeah, Evo Academy are set up for the day. They want to make every match as quick as possible. Yeah. You said it's a team that feels good. I will say, another team that feels very good is Nova. This is not an org, by the way, if you're thinking. I know a lot of people confuse Team Nova as thinking that they're an org. This is not an org. This is a team of people who know each other. I mean, I'm sure if any of you have seen a, enough Skyward series, you would have seen all of these guys at some point. They've all been on yeah. teams that, they've all been on high level teams. They've all been on teams that have done exceptionally well. Um, but again, they need to make sure they are able to maybe try to get that comeback. 30 seconds left for them. And Evo Academy are not going to make it easy. Ghosty, back wall, Stoic with the clear. Oh, Hazar bumped into that one. Bezio will have to go all the way back. Bezio, the control. Gets the dunk on Stoic. The ball is sent right upfield for Nova. But Evo Academy can waste their time, clear it away. And it will be Nova who just have to go all the way back with Ghosty. Inch off the sidewall. Now, Bezio, that's a great shot from Bezio. That's a hat trick for Bezio. <laughs> right off of that touch from Ghosty. And with eight seconds left, Team Nova still have a chance in this game. Yeah, there are a couple of scary moments here. I mean, Evo Academy love to kind of play this where they do all the hard work and then kind of sit back, but it does leave themselves vulnerable to a player like Bezio. It never really gives up on the play. Possible chance here, but they do have to get the ball. Goes to Hollick downfield. Hayes. Who's going to be able to get this touch? They're just going to want to see this hit the ground. Nevo Academy will outlast their opponents here, and they take game number one. That was a great game one. You can really see them set that tempo, set that pace. They are 
Yeah, yeah, and they're just they're, they're giving Team Nova absolutely everything they want to know. And that is, they're telling them what their playstyle is. But their playstyle is not one of those playstyles you can just counter. No, EVO Academy are telling them they're going to play this way for the whole series. It's up to Team Nova to play exceptionally well to beat them. Yeah, I really, I think it's so important that Team Nova, uh, you know, fight for that lead and fight for that lead early. Because EVO Academy, they do so well when they're, they have that advantage. They're able to waste time and they're able to play that loose freestyle not having to worry about you know keeping that insurance goal or whatnot they they do so well when they're just all right we know we have a couple of goals to play with and that's when they really start to stack on uh some of those extra goals on top of it hey I, I mean if you see a evo academy victory here i wouldn't be surprised if this is a 6-1 uh you know 7-2 <laughs> kind of victory from them well maybe they'll get to start, to, uh, they'll start off that 7-2 game here we have a goal only three seconds in that didn't take long. Evo Academy are already on the board. I, I feel like they've gotten that exact kickoff uh, a few times. Or Vizio, the one cheating up and just, you know, not quite getting the touch from the the head of of that kickoff here. That palm, light touch, not going to be enough to send that one away. But the shot angle, not going to be, you know, friendly here for the side of Evo Academy. They won't give up on the pressure. That palm in the middle of the field, going to 1v3. But... Unfortunately, just not enough room in that defense for them to break on through Nova. For a little bit of recovery here, let's start with Bezo on this play. What can they do? Well, what Bezo did is not not much. That will be yep. pinched all the way back. Seth Palm, Risky, Redirects, oh. and Team Evo Academy are here and ready. What a strike from Risky. I mean, this is in traffic, Risky. I mean, maybe not even worried about the people that are basically on their shoulder but boxes out both of the defenders gets that redirect towards the net i mean not not to have a play in work, but that's a risky pass knowing that there's two <laughs> defenders there they're not worried about it at all they're sending that right back now opportunity here for sugar but just can't get enough pace on that to really worry <laughs> the defense here and it's quickly 2-0 and again quickly on the blue half of the field uh, I feel like I need to pronounce that like how you did, sugar. sugar. That's haze. That's haze. <laughs> <laughs> you got so nervous, you accidentally called haze. Sugar. I do. I do. That, that is pretty funny though. But I mean, yeah, I, I don't blame you for being a bit nervous, especially if you're a Nova fan. Look at this, my Evo Academy. They're just elevating their play a little bit more here, a little bit more, getting a little bit better. Team Nova have to keep up. That defense will have to stay strong. But more importantly, they've got to get this ball out actually out of their half in the first place, because right now. Yeah. Evo Academy are just challenging everything. A bump there. Risky. Back wall. No double tap there. But here comes Stoic. Nobody jumped from Nova. The back wall was left undefended. But I guess so was the front of the net. Team Evo Academy will take that one very easily. I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised if everybody on Team Nova is suffering from whiplash. The fact that that ball is going from corner to corner and they're just looking for any kind of relief, any kind of boost. And this is something that Evo Academy has been doing really well. When they get that pressure, they are doing a great job of getting any kind of canister there or at least bumping you away from it where you're not comfortable just sitting in net. You have to keep moving. Uh, but again, 3-0 here. They only have a few looks at the net. This is going to be one of them, but the shot won't actually break on through the defense. Yeah, that's Ghosty. You're going to be seeing a lot of him in this series, especially when this team struggles. It's up to Ghosty. He was the one yeah. that scored that goal to take them even into the semifinals in the first place. He's going to be the one that has to really show up for this team to pull them out of this uh, hole that they've dug for themselves. Oh, oh, but that's not great from Ghosty. Oh, dear, Ghosty. He's only made it worse here. Risky scored. And Team Evo Academy are just running away with this game. Yeah, I, I they're doing it again. They are doing this again. They keep... Doing, they they keep getting away with this. I, I I don't know how else to say it. I mean they they just absolutely jump on teams early in these games, and then you're looking at this. No, there's there's a whole half of Rocket League left, and and you're thinking to yourself. I mean, is Team Nova already thinking about game number three? It's that kind of pressure that this team is is putting on you. Is what do you do? Well, you have to find ways to break through, and right now. Evo Academy aren't giving them any openings. Bezio. Wow. Here comes Stoic. That's a great light touch there. And now going for the ceiling pinch. Wait a second. So second touch. Oh, Ooh, we wanted to go that one. Almost, but almost isn't good enough for Stoic. And the ceiling 
pinch double tap, which is a play I've seen happen a lot more often at this level. Uh, it just it isn't going to work there. Now he's looking infield. Risky couldn't get the dunk. Ghosty will hit it away. Stoic. Oh, that big bump from Hayes. Well, remove that from Stoic. And now the back wall in front. Big clear Stoic. We've been focusing on him a lot this in that last play as he was just everywhere on the field. Yeah, I mean, kind of had to be. You see some really good ideas here from Team Nova breaking through, but it's a transition play. Maybe one or two looks, and they're immediately sent back. They need a little possession here. Could be off the flip reset in this solo play from Ghostaholic. Pass in front. He's yo, waiting for that, but not going to be able to get that through. Open net, though, and Ghostaholic gives just a little bit of a life to this Team Nova squad. And I said it, we needed to see more from Ghosty. We needed to see him play that way. And he is giving us a goal and giving, you know, he's giving us a goal for Team Nova. One, to make this game a little bit closer. And two, to give Team Nova some confidence. They, they, they desperately needed that because for some teams, all they need is just one goal to get themselves back into it. And uh, that is exactly what Nova will get there. One goal and maybe, just maybe a little bit of confidence will re-enter. But they've got to make that confidence work. Oh, oh, well, my lord. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to make this seem closer than it actually is. It really isn't close. Evo Academy are still by far the better team at this point. And, but I, I just don't understand where this disparity has, has arisen here. I mean, three and one, I, it feels like maybe they're in a really difficult group uh, with that three and one. You're expecting this one to be a little bit closer. But this is how they've dealt with every single opponent. It's oh! one game that's kind of close <laughs> and ghosty. All right, we, uh, listen, we will not forget about you, sir. I mean, they have two wonderful goals. That one probably uh, a lot better for the montage than the last, but that is absolutely incredible. Still a minute remaining here. Three goals is not the wildest thing, especially if they pull it out quick, but they it does feel like they have to break through individually here. Could Ghosty be that player that is able to kind of put them on their backs and give them that kind of look over and over again. And well, again, well, Ghosty scored both those goals. Quite impressively, he scored those two goals. It still hasn't been enough here for Nova to even scratch the surface of getting the Team Evo Academy consistently. That's a good go. pass. Hey, saved by oh. Seth Bob. And Evo Academy will uh, not let Team Nova get that one out. The back wall, Ghosty. That's going to go for Risky. Oh, he's oh. missed that one. Risky missed it wide right. 30 seconds left, Nova. Still a little bit of hope here in this one. Hayes, Seth, he's already gotten up to that one. Go Ghosty stands no chance. And Bezio's missed. Stoic to the corner in the midfield. Yep. Seth Bomb open. Oh my oh. goodness, <laughs> Seth Bomb. That is not what we expected there from Seth. Yep. And Nova, well, they will find a way upfield. It won't go in. Seth is, uh, well, he's going he's gonna to get a bit of a snicker from his teammates there because that was... That was, that was a very strange play, but it won't matter here because this game is over. Evo Academy, well, I'm sure, again, as I mentioned, laughing, snickering, all those things that uh, that missed open net. Well, they still have a game win, and uh, they're up 2-0. There there is seriously nothing that's stopping them from just sweeping Team Nova at this point. No, I, there's absolutely nothing. I do want this uh, you know, noted for the record. I did call a 6-1 or a 7-2, and I do want this put on the record that there is two goals that Evo Academy very that's, clearly... You, you, you'll, you'll take that. Able. Um, so, you know, there is that. It, and here's the wild thing, too. Evo Academy is being outshot quite heavily. Um, and it's just the efficiency. I mean, Evo Academy, when they're taking their shots, they're hitting them, and, and that's it. Right now, nine shots. Uh, it is 12 shots for the side of Team Nova. Uh, Ghost of Holic, seven shots on their own. I mean, they scored two absolutely incredible goals. Uh, one being that wonderful double tap, the tough angle. But... They need, they need more. The Team Nova, only one save. They, they just haven't been touching the ball in front of their own net. And they they have to find a way through it. I think it it really, they have to protect their, their boost from the corners. They have to get into the midfield a little bit more and really pressure these players. I know it's really tough because they're all really mechanically skilled. They, they beat you from the ground to the air. Uh, but they have to get up. They have to get active. And this is a good time to do it. Devo yep. Academy have, you know, they, they 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 didn't hold the end of that game very well for them. Team Nova, maybe they can get some time back. Although that is not going to help them at all when your players just continue to get removed. Stoic, that's a great touch from Stoic, but it's going to be Hayes will reach to it already. Got midair sliced away by Risky. Here comes Seth Bomb off the back oh. wall, and the speed of Team Evo Academy may have caught them there on that one. If they took things a little slower. 
I think we could have seen Zapalm with a bit of a better shot that was a little lower down. Ezo downfield, trying to keep the defense a little bit honest here, but Risky quickly out from the corner. Zapalm will be towards the net, but and right now, again, just assault from basically all sides. Someone commit here, could be an opportunity, will be just into the net, stoic! All the way from the side and creation from every single part of the field. And I told you, Bezio, sometimes the defense doesn't help him. I think he got the, I think he was part of that team bump there. Or was he not? Was yeah. he the only one? He was, I, th I was gonna say, I think it was Bezio who's part of that team bump. And yeah, sometimes things do not go well for this guy. That is a very rough goal to give up as we know, but I gotta come back quickly. Ghosty, I'm gonna do it there, but Duke's already used to Ghosty's tricks. Oh, but he's not used to that one though. Bezio's gonna put it in. And I, I have a very good job of complimenting a team and then immediately having to take that compliment away because Bezio will put that one. That's an impressive shot. But to be fair, that is Bezio as well. He's, he's pretty good at that. Yeah, I, I think Bezio reads that play well. You're looking at the defense. They're wanting that ball to roll off of that wall and not get in a shooting position. Bezio, you know, basically two steps ahead of everyone else, knowing that that ball is going to bounce, knowing that they're going to have a chance and not wasting it. I mean... You know, when they have a chance in front of the net, they are taking it and taking it quickly. Uh, and there, the defense just not ready to go back. But this this is the game that you know we have to see Nova play. They any time that there is uh, you know a a call here from this offense of Evo Academy, they have to be willing to respond and they have to respond early, lest they you know stack some of these goals on top of each other. But opportunity here, Bizo. You able to see that one away very clearly and now for a run. Both players are playing really close together, however, in that rotation. They don't lose the ball just as quickly. So many demos from Evo Academy. I mean, just they're, they're getting physical at this point. They're going after people. Yeah. And they're removing Team Nova from these challenges, from these plays. Oh, I see Team Nova's also removing themselves there by that double commit. BZO. Gonna find Hayes. And then another demo, this one from Seth Palm actually will go backwards though. Maybe getting a bit too carried away with those demos. Because that touch was definitely not a uh, part of that. It is now Risky. Getting so damn hungry he's going to go after Stoic. Team Evo Cannon will do anything to get a demo at this point. Hayes will get one back though. Just for some uh, good measure here. But uh, let's see if Evo Cannon still on the ball. Stoic! Demo! Oh, oh my goodness, Stoic! I... <laughs> I mean, you have a team that's not really set for this one. Hayes in a really difficult spot. No one, I mean, Bezio is getting into the position they should be, but that angle is disgusting there from the side of Evo Academy. So like, looking to do something like that again, they're not gonna get nearly as much room and immediately challenged in that center line. But I, I mean, Evo Academy, if you're trying to play this kind of speed, this kind of game with them, uh, they're gonna beat you at it. This this kind of physical all over the place where they're wanting to play this offense free and loose. They are going to beat you at this pace. Two minutes left. Evo Academy with one of the best goals I've seen in a very long time. Are now in the lead. Stoic through one. Ghosty last one back trying to get the dunk. Risky jumps already. He's already jumping for it. Yeah. And he'll get that flip reset as well. That one will elude Bezio. Hayes, Seth challenges, Ghosty, Stoic, Evo Academy holding the midfield, that's a great pass, oh, Risky for the double, oh. oh he's hit it well wide, that's going to the corner, didn't even go on the net on that one, and Team Nova will clear with Ghosty, shot, scores it, goes oh. to Holick down the field, Team Nova will bring the spots, they'll sucker punch Evo Academy in the nose. Call and response there, and a big sigh of relief for Team Nova, who, I mean, it didn't feel like they were, it was a one goal game, but they have been close, they've been fighting this well, and just taking that transition in stride here. And you said it had to be Ghosty that brings them back, able to bring them back here, but now maybe a little bit anxious there to get that go ahead goal. It will be Seth Palm been a little bit quiet in this game in lieu of their teammates being absolutely insane risky double the quick response and it's right there when you need it for evil academy risky is inevitable you can't stop it you won't stop it it's risky he'll do whatever he wants and there's nothing you can do evil academy right back at it they lead by one i mean they, they're putting on a clinic 
This is an absolute clinic. That's a flip. They are risking. Oh, he oh, takes him out. He oh, takes him out of the play. It's the flip reset. Bump on the air dribble. I mean, you cannot script this any better. Ghosty had no chance. Risky is... Risky is inevitable. I mean, I have to say it again. He just did that again. There is nothing stopping this guy from doing what he wants. In fact, I hit my controller so heavy, I just accidentally changed my viewer mode to free mo <laughs> cam mode. So now we get to watch things like this. I'll move it back real quick. Uh, that's 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 a new one. Make sure I can yeah, fix I this. Mean, I, there literally we go. Literally changing back. how. <laughs> Risky changing the way that you view the game of Rocket League. You, <laughs> I you gotta love I hit my controller a little too heavily there, because I just changed the camera mode. That's how insane he is playing right now. Risky just got two incredible goals. And for Evo Academy, we just have to talk about the quality of the goals this game. Uh, two, do you know, two double taps, an air dribble bump. Right, here's a yep. reset bump. This, the, the goals that Evo Academy are scoring, they're not just any goals. They're goals that you don't see happen often. Yeah, it's it's not chump change. Like, they're, they're not just, like, barely beating teams. They're, they're beating the snot out of teams. Like, it is absolutely wild. They're going to get another look here. So, give you a low flip oh reset. Goodness. Hold on. <laughs> just a minute. I mean, I, that one, it's a set defense there. They're not going to let that mess get through. But it's, it's they're not afraid to go for these. And they continue to pull them out. Bezo has to be a little bit careful there. Had someone literally riding their coattails there to put that one away. But again, the time, they're playing with it. They know they just need to hit the ground. And they find themselves in this spot yet again. It is going to be series point for this squad. What are they doing? Are they playing better? <laughs> yeah, That's, they're just, playing, they're just better. playing a lot better than these guys. Evo Academy, Team Evo Academy. And now the question is, how in the world did they get second seed in their group? How did they lose? The, I don't know. Uh, their one loss, I believe, came to deleted XD Black or something like that. I'd have to check who they lost to. It was, uh, no, it was not that. It was, who was it? Team Evo Academy. Their one loss did not come to it. Yeah. Who was it? Hey. But here's, they're just here's insane. the thing, too. They're, they're insane, and... They did, oh, no, they I, lost to the BMX. What am I saying? They, didn't, yeah. they lost to the BMX. They lost to the, they lost to the top team in they, the group. Yeah, they lost to, to BMX, top team in their group. I mean, they have a plus six game differential. Uh, it, slightly better than, than BMX, to be fair. Um, and, you know, they they do have the, the, the tie kind of going against them. So, very clearly could have been... The top team in the group along with 100x35 but i mean they're showing this is another level than what they were showing in the groups like this the way that they're beating teams like this this is not no this is not normal like nope. i it is it is truly incredible and to see them this is the third hour of them playing uh this wonderful game that we call rocket league and they have not shown a falling off <laughs> It, it is absolutely incredible what they're doing here. And if BMX Paradox are the only thing that beat them, well, they're not gonna have to worry about that anymore because we just got a report. BMX Paradox just lost to the the Black 4 to 3, meaning all only yep. one top seed is left, and that is Team Nova. And they need to make a reverse sweep to keep that top seed hope alive. Unfortunately, Evo Academy are just, as we said, better. They're doing things differently. They're doing things in a different way. Oh, but that bump was nasty. Ghosty will score, but it's Bezio who really created this opportunity. I, I do have to say that's a wonderful bump there. But if I'm if I'm uh, Evo Academy, I'm looking at Stone and like, what are you doing sitting on that mid boost for over 10 seconds? <laughs> What are you doing there? Oh, that's just gonna be right in off the kickoff! How do they give this up? I, I'm did speechless. He not go? No, he missed. Hayes just oh, missed. My he pulled a Ronicky on the kickoff, and he just missed. I hope people know that's a reference to. Yeah. Um, I mean that you're you're going back in the RLCS. Days. That is back to season eight. That is season yeah, eight RLCS. Volce versus is... FC Barcelona game five. Oh, Ronicky missed the kickoff, and you lose the series. Yeah. That name. Yeah, imagine, That's an old name. Imagine talking about Veloce in this day and age of Rocket League. A wonderful team, but my oh my. A snooze fest here. Not at all a snooze fest on the field. As still plays that in front of the net. Dangerous play as we continue on. But it is it is a tied ball game here. Ezio looking for the touch. Still does see that the whole way. And now it'll be up to Risky. Trying to get past the opponent. <laughs> Instead, we'll go right through their opponent. It will not stop a shot from being put on to the net but 
and a little bit of back and forth. But right now, it doesn't look like Evo Academy have gotten into this game quite yet. It looks like Ghosty Hawk will be able to put that in. And yeah, just, just not quite as clean here. And it looks like Team Nova, they're getting in their stride here. They're getting in the faces of Team Evo Academy. You can tell Visky there. He was stressed. He was stressed for a good reason. Ghosty's jumping up, up for that immediately. Ghosty, you know, he he plays as if he's like a GC2. He's obviously, he, you know what, actually, no, he is a GC2. What am I saying? He plays like a GC2 because yeah. he has one. But he plays just so clutch at times. One of the reasons why Team Nova have been so incredible has just been the fact that Ghosty can basically, you know, do it all himself if he has to. He is that kind of a player, although obviously, getting to those points, He's going to need him, his teammates to jump up there with him, but still, he'll score whenever he needs to. It just matters on how Team Nova will play that defense. Risky. Off the ceiling. This is where Risky is good. This is where he's amazing. Oh, but that's a great block from Hayes. Risky couldn't take it. Hayes will keep him out. Yeah, I think unfortunately Risky ran out of options there. You can see the, the gears were turning, but... You know, as they're kind of flowing through the air, they actually didn't quite have many shooting options. Hold on, here's another shot. Ghosty will cover this one, but Risky quickly back to the back wall. Nothing in the near post, says Seth Palm. We have to head back here. A little bit of you know, close quarters Rocket League here. And you know, it's something that we haven't been able to see this Team Nova squad pull off as them able to slow the ball down and play close and make it awkward. Uh, but it's something that it seems to be working a little bit for them here in this game. But it feels like they need another goal. They cannot leave this just to be one. Otherwise, they could have something like that. The pull shot. Hold on a minute there. Uh, Seth Palm will get the credit, but they are absolutely set into this from their teammate. Look at the bump here. Yeah, you know, Risky really wanted that goal too, but he was immediately called off. He knew, uh, wait a second, why am I going for this? My guys still have it. So yeah, they called Risky off. That's why you saw him fly by there without actually hitting the ball. And Evo Academy, even though it was a very strange way to get a goal, they'll take it. They are doing just whatever they need to do. They're making the, th these goals are, all right, they're just so, there's just like something about this team. They don't score normal goals. They score really weird goals as that wins wow. in for BCO. Evo Academy could not hold that goal for long. Yeah, I mean, listen, Nova is, is playing this game how they should. They are keeping pace and they're keeping pace out front. So they are punching first, and then even if there's a counter, they still have the option to punch again, punch right back. I mean, right now, Ghosty is playing out of their mind. Seth will set up their teammate here, but so actually not a great angle to take that shot. We'll take it out, out their frustrations, maybe on a, on a player on the Team Nova side. Uh, but still plenty of time here, and this does seem to be a bar burner in terms of goal scored and a dangerous 50 in front of the net. Seth Palm looking to open up some space, but Stowe, I mean, Risky couldn't get that one on Stowe. Wait. It's the last one back, doesn't have enough boost, and it will let a goal in, four to two. Stoic avoided those boost pads like the plague. He had zero boost when he's going for it. Just look at this. This is about, oh, about as bad as the boost tracking can be. Pads. He missed about eight different boost pads on that defensive rotation. And that is, that is not great from Stoic. That is not Evo Academy, that's for sure. That's not usually how this team would play. They're usually pretty good at being, uh, very good at taking the boost. Uh, Stoic, uh, I think he forgot about that role that uh, Evo plays here as Risky with a fake. He actually did well to keep that ball there, although he will get demoed for it. Stoic. Seth, trying to get that redirect play, uh, Bezio, out to Hayes, Risky, in the back of the midfield for a Stoic, that was an arm, but oh, the follow-up, Stoic, oh, he didn't have it, and neither did the follow-up shot, Evo Academy will have to keep searching. Yeah, it, feel, it feels a little bit off kilter here for Evo Academy, and luckily enough, that is going to be exactly what they need, they're scoring on these transitions, and they're, they're making this like clockwork. Vizio, just one touch to beat one, and then goes to Holic right next to him, able to put that one in. They're not letting Evo get away with, you know, these these half chances here. They are really punishing them now, and it's something that up to this point, Evo Academy have not had to deal with, quite frankly. Well, they haven't had to deal with this kind of pressure. They haven't had to deal with a team like Nova who can win uh, games no. quite honestly by their defense. Not their defense, their offense. Their defense can do it too, but... That, that's not what they're focusing on here. It's that offense. As here comes the sidewall. BZO, that's an incredible second touch. Yeah. Going for something a little bit magical there, but uh, we won't be seeing him hit that anytime soon. Hayes, second touch off the, off the uh, ceiling. Ghosty, 
We'll try to get through Seth Bomb, BZO Dogs, Evo Academy will push up field, Seth Bomb in the midfield, Risky, that one's launched the sidewall, in the mid again, Ghosty missed, Risky oh. missed, everybody's missing, and Evo Academy will have to watch as their chances will fall to Zevo, nobody has enough boost to keep it going. Yeah, it finally feels like the fatigue is, is starting to hit this team, I mean, they still have a little bit of time left maybe to get one more goal, but again, it's the little things that are starting not to work. Risky will take one, only 19 seconds left. I don't put it past him, especially with how the kickoffs have been going, but it's it's these little misses that they're, they're starting to become bigger and bigger as Team Nova's getting more aggressive off of those plays. Team Nova, you know, they, they, they see the series squirrel and they know they cannot lose here. They're throwing everything they have at this one. And for good reason, Bizio. Well, oh, that's a good pinch from Seth. Risky, up to Seth Palm. Oh, he's faked this one. Ghosty will still take yeah. it. And that should end the final seconds. Ghosty, just making sure he'll end here with that dribble play. And game four will go to Team Nova. The first game loss of the Knights for EVO Academy. And it comes to the hands of Team Nova. But still, there's three more games. Team Nova have a lot of work to do. Yeah, and the, the shooting... I mean, fairly even here. 10 shots for the side of Evo Academy. 11 shots for Team Nova. And really, you could see it's it's Ghosty and Bizo. It's, it's they're it's, it's, really like throwing themselves offensively up. You see Hayes is trying to lock down, fill in those gaps. Um, and right now, Evo Academy, they, they didn't look as comfortable. They didn't look as clean. And so we'll see um, how this one plays out. Yeah, we're going into game five. Team Nova, again, they're really riding on the backs of Ghosty at this point. Ghosty yeah. is just willing his team forward. He does not think this series over, and it isn't, but there's still a lot that he has to do. There's still a lot of time left. If Ghosty is confident, Team Nova can be confident around him. But only but one misstep, one game where it doesn't go their way, and Team Evo Academy are moving to the finals. Yeah, they, this will be a... This might be their toughest test of just getting that next game. They're, they're not riding on the highs. Um, but we'll see off the kickoff. It's going to be another challenge. Risky looking to blow this one up. And they're going to look for those familiar kind of plays here. Risky not going to get back to that one. That's going to be another early goal here for Team Nova. Hayes, you know, keeping them honest. And they're finding the space to actually get something done. And that's going to push Evo Academy further and further away and evo academy the, the one thing they cannot do in this situation is try to force a goal against team nova it, knowing yeah. evo academy the chances are just going to come to them because they're evo academy uh, if they try to force a goal at this point they're only going to make things tougher for them and they just need to make sure they play their style one oh. goal given up isn't going to be uh, all too bad for them as long as they don't let that goal take control as here comes stoic dunk by ghostaholic ghosty dunks by seth palm and now hayes will clear Back and forth from the midfield. Nobody with field control. Risky. Oh, a miss from Hayes. Who's up next to it? It's going to be Ghosty getting over Stoic. But Seth Bomb will beat him here. Just the midfield is a war zone at this point. And nobody is winning in this war of attrition. Yeah. <laughs> right now, I mean, it is it is every man for themselves kind of in that midfield. You got to grab that boost. You got to figure out what's going on. Possible shot. So Ooh. Should be able to see it away. Oh. But it's these mistakes. And it's like someone cut the lights off here for Evo Academy. What is going on with these, you know, I, I don't want to say these basic plays, but you know, that, these You can say that. That was a pretty expect. basic play to make on defense. That is, I, I, Seth Bomb I, knows he probably should be saving that every single time. That should be 100 out of 100 for him. It's a huge mistake. Team Nova are happy to take it. Yeah, I mean, but, I mean, I'm not sure if we, if, in these best of seven, I actually have to read the rules on that, but uh, this is timeout territory here. If I am... I, I don't believe uh, we, I don't, I don't think we have timeouts. Yeah, I don't, we don't, I don't have timeouts in this tournament. It, <laughs> yeah, I don't think we If we do, did, we would have, if we did, I think 50 would have uh, probably let the players know about that in the oh, announcement yeah, today. <laughs> absolutely, but it feels like they need a little bit of a mental reset because it, it feels off. I, I like, just like, it's it's not quite as clean and, and perfect. We've seen them do some incredible things, but now some of the small things, those touches, those 50s, are not quite working out for them, and it's really affecting their play. Pass across, a good touch, but not really going to have a lot of follow-up here for Risky as they're just trying to keep this one alive. 
Evo Academy, and now that uh, idea has got to start kind of getting into the minds. What about a reverse sweep? It is honestly becoming much more, much more realized at this point that that could very well happen here if Team Evo Academy don't pull themselves back up here. Because look at this from Team Nova. I mean. Ghosty has only had 24 points this game. This has not been Ghosty's game at all. This has been Bezio. This has been Hayes. Ghosty has been relatively quiet. He's let his teammates do the work. And if uh, those guys are just controlling this game here, and even if Ghosty isn't getting all that involved, then that is a good sign for Nova. Yeah, I mean, it, it's wonderful when you when you don't have to... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you, you have multiple win conditions here. There's going to be a doomsie from Bezio if they could get around it. They definitely wanted to, but... You know, defense of Evo Academy, well aware of that. And it looks like a lot of these options here for this this offensive side of Evo Academy are being, you know, kind of taken away from them. Uh, they're trying to find ways, and now if, if all of a sudden when Bezio is the one that's kind of hunting you down, really got things to worry about because it's feeling very free in your half of the field. This is probably the most field domination I've seen from this uh, Team Nova squad in the entire series. And in front again, Nova are playing the offense, they're playing that midfield, and yeah, you're, you're right about it, how they're just taking away chances here for Evo Academy. They're also just, you know, they're also just playing a lot faster. Like, this is yep. them playing faster, and I think it, it might have to do with confidence, it might have to do with something that they told each other. There's a good amount of speed on this play as Risky. Evo Academy still have enough time left to come back, but that time will very quickly make itself known here on that scoreboard because they don't have a lot of it. And Bezio almost found a third one. Set bomb with a block. Ghosty. Now looking for the pass in midfield. Hayes will want it, but Stoic's got the clear. Bezio will get there. Risky. Oh, a big off the corner. Set bomb. And Bezio will collect. And that will end that one for Team Evo Academy. Yeah, they're, they're not getting that clean second or third opportunity, and it's really because Team Nova just not allowing it. Vizio's shot should be easy for Hayes if they can find their spot. They do. And now you really start to worry because I feel like you were talking about this earlier, the thought of the reverse sweep, and it goes from game to game. It gets worse and worse, that feeling creeping up in the back of your mind, like we might actually lose this. We, we, we're not playing well, and you start to play not to lose. And it's something that we haven't really seen uh, Evo Academy play like so far. They played so clean, but I, they really need a goal here. Well, get it. You, you, we you asked for it, Cobra. And it came. It's a great shot from Seth Bomb. As they just kept it airborne. Ghosty, for the first time, he's actually not going to get up to an aerial all that quickly. And yep. that is Seth Palm's uh, shot to win. 48 seconds. They need two goals. Evo Academy. Uh, their backs against the wall at this point. I mean, sure that they're leading 3-1 in the series. It is still heavily in their favor, but this game is starting to make, really turn some heads, and it's, it's turning our heads as well as casters. Yeah, absolutely. I I think you're, you got to be really worried if if these players are getting into the spots and they're playing quickly. And I think one of the things that really helped uh, Evo Academy is the two opponents that they played against. They they lost faith towards the end. I mean, the, the closeout games were probably the the quickest to like really put the team out of it mentally. And we saw the absolute opposite from Team Nova. They bought in, they realized, hey, you know, there's not too much that we need to do differently. Like, let's get it together. And they're really putting up a fight. Really good shot here from the side wall. I mean, you know, they, they get the goal back. Two goals, th less than 30 seconds. It's not... You know, I've seen it happen. Heard of here? Yeah, I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen, and for Evo Academy, what a way to take the series if they're able to do that. But that's against Team Nova, who have made almost no mistakes on defense. Bezio off the back wall. Ghosty already going for it, but he's not got it. Oh. Hayes. Oh, he's gonna be watched out here because Stoic takes the dribble. Bezio uh. already jumping. Risky. That's a good shot. Hayes will block. Risky couldn't get the challenge past Hayes, and that means that time will. Well, eventually he'll run out here for Evo Academy. Stoic, fake, the dribble, the 50, and that still oh. kept out. Bezio will win the game here with that save. Team Nova are now moving into game six. Two game wins in a row, and the pressure is mounting. Yeah, absolutely. There, There is a couple of those touches that you just have to... You just have to make here for Evo Academy. There's too many mistakes now. They're not doing those little things that really opened up their game 
Uh, it's those challenges. It's where they are in the rotation. And now it feels like they're kind of having to force their spot. Meanwhile, Team Nova, they're moving around the field a lot more freely. And now you're seeing Hayes is getting into it. Bezo on the defensive end is really covering the tracks of any kind of mistakes. They're doing really well, even though they don't do well always when they're set in defense on the way back, when they just have to be hungry for the ball, they just have to put in a challenge. They're so good in situations like that. Yeah, and, and again, and also, by the way, thank you for the raid, Blue Sabres. Welcome in again. This is the Ascent Tournament Series Fall Open. Sorry, the Black Lotus Fall Open Ultimate Cup semifinals here. Sponsored by Black Lotus Tattoo Studio. Go support them. Amazing sponsor here for this tournament. As reminder, winner tonight of the finals will get a $75 prize. We'll win the $75 prize pool. And Evo Academy are trying to become that one team. Oh, that's oh, from Stelwick. Cool. And I, I was going to mention the one thing I want to see from Evo Academy. I, and the one thing I'm worried about is... Maybe they started off the series so well because of that momentum they had from the last series they just won. Maybe that was why they Now that they don't have it, now you can really see the true colors of Evo Academy. And those true colors are not all that uh, are not all that impressive looking. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with you to a point, but I, I think that you know this is a team that if they they get it together, uh, I oh, yeah, really certainly. think that they could they could use that momentum that they create for themselves but it, it's just kind of breaking through and i i do not think they can allow team nova to score first i don't think they can allow it they have to be the first one to break through and you can tell that's what they want they're sending a little bit more offensive pressure here they're trying to dominate this midfield to not allow as much freedom for team nova to clear their lines as easily well team nova have found that breakthrough, and now it's their time to attack. Hayes, oh. miss from Stoic. Bezio's got an open net. Goal one for Team Nova. If you're on Team Nova Academy, this is exactly not what you wanted to have happen. A goal, a whiff, and Bezio will score. Yeah, a lot to ask for Stoic in that position. I mean, that was an absolute heater to the backboard. You kind of have a feeling if you don't hit that, the double is on its way, and on its way, it was. Will be another opening goal here for Team Nova as they're, you know, finding their way through. Stoic looking for the shot, just can't get around it. And it's those opportunities that they're not really forcing uh, Team Nova to have to deal with. Oh my goodness, Risky almost read that. Look at that quick shot here as Miss from Bizio. Actually, that was Hayes to go for this one. Now Bizio will go for it, but that one will have to be challenged by Ghosty. That one, oh, that nice. has been launched down the field by Ghosty. Just getting rid of that ball in its entirety. But Evo Academy still have it. Stoic, Hayes, and trying to get that second touch, but that bomb will go under him. And now here comes the play. That one, saves initially, risky. Second chance, that one is on. Oh, Bizio can't get to it, and it's risky. We've been waiting for him to score. He's been on a bit of a drought late as of late. Well, that's a great way to get yourself back into it. Huh. Yeah, I, that one, you can see Hayes is on that chase down. They've been doing this a lot more where they've been following the player, you know, basically kind of against that rotation. Hayes wanted to go up there, wanted to interrupt and basically take away the time for that shot, but unfortunately backflipped, and that gave Risky enough time to actually Pull the trigger there. Maybe another opportunity looking for something, but pushes it just a little bit too far in front of him. Actually don't get it off, and instead it will have to be Stowe. But double command, it's actually gonna leave Seth Palm in a really tough spot. Yeah, but, the, the, but Stoic does get back. Oh, a miss from Hayes. Stoic, wow. shot to the back wall. Wait a second, this might be a chance for Evo. In front for Seth Palm. Oh, but that wow. shot left a lot to be desired. Oh, that was a great fake from Ghosty to get that ball out. Evo Academy had their chance, and they really Blew that one there oh. with that shot. Yeah, they, got, they really got to be careful here. There's some misses in front of the net, kind of crossing the field. Risky is going to pinch that away just to clear the line. Shot easy there for Hayes. That's right down the middle. That should be a flip reset. Not going to be exactly the, the distance they want. But yeah, look, it's, it's some of the aerials. They're just getting underneath. And it, I think it's just that uh, you're seeing the mental fatigue. It's, it's really the fatigue. They're just not getting the same kind of read it's a little bit delayed and that's it, it's not a mechanical issue it, it's more of a mental thing of just not getting the look that they want but that goes absolutely the wrong way stone is gonna get the credit but oh that is a terrible series of events there for the side of team nova an absolute tragedy for them that was not what they were expecting that was not what they were hoping and evo are now in the lead 
due to not their own work. Ghosty, though, gotta get that response team Nova. I mean, they felt very calm in this game. Maybe a little too calm. It's risky. Down the field. No, I went fast. Oh. Risky's oh. taking it. Evil Academy have regained that energy. I mean, you give them an inch, they're gonna take a mile, and Risky, again, it's just the basics. You see an open net, you test the keep, you see if they're gonna be able to get back to that one. They're not able to, and now it's a little bit of a buffer. Two goals, it's not impossible, but it's something that so far, Evo Academy have felt pretty comfortable, but a miss in front! Stoic is gonna be able to get back to it. Heavy touch to the middle of the field, oh. and it's Ghosty! Yet again, a clinical shot, all the pace in the world, and absolutely annihilates the ball right after they annihilated Bezo in the middle of the field. Team Nova losing in a game. Who are you gonna call? You're calling Ghostaholic. He will find a way to score against anybody on this field. You ask, and he'll be here to respond. Ghosty with a goal when Team Nova needed him most, and now they need another. Not uh, about a minute left for them. Bezio, corner, set bomb. We'll get to it. Ghosty for oh. Hayes. Hayes, fake on Stoic. He'll get round one. Now they'll pick up round two. Risky. That one's been oh. pissed all the way back. That's going to go high. Set bomb jump. Bezio's beating him onto it. And over. I mean, I mean, that was, that was scary on defense to see that pinch go back that way. But hey, you know, they, they'll take it however it comes. They're still looking for the tie game. Right now, it, it, it's all on the ability for Team Nova to put pressure on the net. Hayes, no contact there on that one, and that was another clear opportunity. I mean, it's really tough. Goes to Holic on a demo. Bezo, not a ton of room to work with at the near post, but risky. Buying time. 30 seconds remaining. They have to get it done here and now. They don't want to risk it. A possible shot! Seth Palm, did they do it? Have they done it? Has that own goal allowed Demo Academy to take the series? Finals bound, Team, o Team Evo, 25 seconds left to hold their lead. I mean, Team Nova, they're not going to give up on this. They're going to try and make this one work. That one should just be straight through. And off the kickoff, I mean, they are making this as close as humanly possible. You cannot do that. Double commit there. You have to keep the communications. Good teams all the time lose it when they get excited. 18 seconds. Oh, Everything boy. here has to be pristine. Everything does have to be perfect. Nova. Oh, that's not a great kickoff. Risky. Pinch. Cleared away by Ghosty. Stoic. Towards the midfield. Risky doesn't have it. Oh. Another clear from Nova that will go straight to Evo Academy. Hayes now will look Balls upfield. Up. Ghosty jumping up off the ceiling. Bizio needs to keep it alive. Risky wants the end, but Hayes has kept it there in the offense. Set bomb can't ground Ghosty. it. Ghosty back wall. Miss in front for Step Bomb. Bizio is keeping this. Hayes. Oh, he's gone backwards here. Ne Team Nova are backtracking. Risky will end it. Oh. Evo Academy have taken the series. They're going to the grand finals. I mean, they they won that on fumes right now. Evo, I mean, they're gonna need to take a take a quick breather. Need to get some water. They were on their last legs there. Team Nova were bringing that back, but Evo did just enough. That own goal in the middle of that game opened up so much for. Evo Academy, they were able to play a little bit closer to their style because they were forcing Nova to be the ones that responded, forcing them to play from behind, and they managed to do just enough here off the back of a few risky goals there. But Evo Academy, I there could this was a little bit more difficult than the rest of their series, but they managed to run the gauntlet to its conclusion. Now they just have to do it in the grand finals. Yeah, there's one series left. One on the, it's, it's going to be on the stream. We're going to see that grand finals. My goodness, that was intense for them. But hey, Evo Academy, they still make it happen. They still look incredible, even with this oh. series continuing. As you said, they're running on fumes, but that energy, anytime they win, that energy is back, and it's so tough to take it away. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And it, oh, man, that was an incredible, uh, yeah, possible comeback. Shout out to Team Nova, who really, I, I think, showed what they're capable of and the, the mental of that team uh, to be able to kind of work back in those situations. But uh, Evo Academy, I mean, they have, they have put on a show here uh, for this series 
And I, I hope they can, they can kind of get that mental reset they need for the grand finals here. Yeah, they're going to need a little bit of a reset. Lucky enough for them. The other match in the semifinals is still ongoing. It's only in Game 4. The NXT Black is leading in the series 2-1. to one. We're in Game 4. It's tied 0-0 zero zero at about the halfway mark. So it's still going to be a while before we uh, get our answer of who they're going to place in the finals. But Cobra, my goodness, that was that was insane. Is there, what a series that had to be because that, that was... Uh, well, I, I, again, I thank you for bringing Evo Academy over because that was that was yeah. a fun team to watch, and I'm happy they're making it. They definitely deserve that grand finals placement. Yeah, I mean they're they're showing up and they've shown out here, and I I'm glad that it wasn't a 4-0. I mean, obviously they they did you know put on quite a performance to make it uh a close. Getting that 3-0, it's so difficult for a team to to bring it back after 3-0 but team nova i mean they showed a lot i think they did show some weaknesses for evo academy and maybe a, a evo academy team that is is inevitably running out of steam but if evo can find a way to you know grasp at uh, you know the at straws here and kind of reignite the things that made them this kind of team uh we'll see how this championship goes but i'm very excited uh to watch and listen to this yeah, of course. Again, here we go. We're moving over. Keep clicking the wrong screen. <laughs> it's the third time I've done that today. Yes, we yep. made each other tweet something something funny. Anyways, again, again, Evo Academy already in the finals. We already have it listed. There they are. And they're waiting for the winner of Delete XD Black. And X35, Team Not Found. I've seen Team Not Found. This is a very new team. But Delete XD Black making it this far and holding the series lead. That is something I did not expect that we'd see. Yeah, I, I feel like there's, there's a... so many uh, teams that have managed to really uh change up but i mean it really deleted actually a very similar uh thing to what they did in their group a 3-1 um record a plus four game differential so i mean they're kind of ahead in a lot of these games and really the only um you know team that they actually you know struggled with it was uh, unleashed it was unleashed warfare was unleashed which which was their uh you know the number one in the group so um they did exactly what they needed to do um you know we'll see how that uh match kind of fares up but i i truly think uh either one of these opponents uh whether it's 100 x 35 team not found whether it's deleted xc black um it is going to be quite the show uh in the championship against evo academy it will be quite a show. Again, that's it for the semifinals. That's it for the semifinals on this stream. We'll have to wait a while before we get to the finals, but again, again, while we do it, we will be off to a probably a substantial break here. Let's wait for our finals match to be uh, sorted out again. Uh, again, guys, stick around. I, I, again, that finals, that semi, another semifinals is on Red Falcons' stream. Red Falcons is, uh, Red Falcons with two S, by the way. Uh, again, go show him support, watch the semifinals, and then come back here for the grand finals. And to end off our, AT our start of our ATS action, the Ultimate Cup Finals will be up very soon.
Thank you, S. Stefan, or S. S. Stefan, for the follow. Welcome to this video stream. Again, we'll get the finals sort of very soon. They're currently in game five, so it's gonna be, it could be a while.
Hello everybody, we just got updates on our finals. Elated XD, a black, a black here, just won in a 4-2. We'll be seeing them in the grand finals.
Sorry about that, guys. We have some delays here. Uh, we are having some issues. We'll make sure everything gets kind of worked out very soon. Just give me a moment. Thank you for the follow ups. Welcome to this your stream. We're gonna, we're gonna, we'll get this final started very soon, don't worry. Thank you, Falcons, with a rate of 13. Uh, we'll make sure we'll get the stream started soon. Again, sorry about the, uh, sorry about the issues. Don't worry, we'll make sure we get this finals over you guys. I did just check with the players. They're fine with the delays, so we can wait for this. you for the follow zovu again we're just getting things set up we're having some issues somebody's a bit late we'll be fine don't worry again that's someone actually zen <laughs> so we're gonna get zen in here uh, he is, his match was, was a long one so he'll be here with us don't worry Thank you for the follow and the sub, Bravo Goon. Welcome in. Welcome in.
It's time for the grand finals. Two teams are left. Only one will get that $75 prize pool. And joining me to watch this is the lovely Zen Zevo. Zen, we've got a finals on our hands. We do indeed. I I, I know that um, Evo, very, very strong team, but it's going to be hard for me to doubt, to doubt Deleted XD Black. I mean, they have had absolute wars all day. Went to six, seven, and then six again. They, they, you know, obviously came out triumphant. I'm super excited for this. I think this is going to be an absolute clash of titans. It should be. It should be that kind of a battle. And yeah, you mentioned it. They've had a lot much tougher run than Evo Academy have had. Again, we'll take a look at that bracket. I keep going to the wrong screen. That's what it was yesterday. <laughs> Me tweeting that. I keep going to that screen. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't intend to do that. But again, we'll look. Take a look first at the uh, Delete XD side. Here's it again. They started against Omega Fury 4-2. And then they had to upset BMX Paradox in the game 7. They beat Team, team Lot Found in the game 6. And of course, on my side of the back at Evo Academy, it's been a little different. <laughs> they, they swept their first two opponents. And they won the game 6 against Team Nova. The only first seed to make it to the semifinals, in fact. Which uh, just tells you just how good these teams are playing if they're taking down these first seeds so early. Yeah, absolutely. But I have to wonder, you know... It is the fatigue going to set in. I've been saying it all day for deleted. Haven't seen it yet, but, you know, 19 games over two hours, that is a lot. And it's been probably eight or nine overtimes out of those 19 games. That seven-game series for the quarterfinals, they had five, uh, excuse me, no, you have five overtimes out of those seven games. So unreal amount of Rocket League for this deleted XD Black team. And no wonder that series took so long then. Yep. You had five overtimes. Yep. I was like, what is happening over there? Why is it taking so long? <laughs> no wonder that the NXT Black and BMX Paradox cannot decide who wants to win that series. But again, they don't have to play against BMX anymore. They have to play against Evo Academy. And here's our lineups for this one. I can tell you, Evo Academy have played uh, Seth Palm, Risky, and Stoic. All of those players... I know you like to focus on someone, Zen, and you should focus on Risky. When he's off, he hits whatever he wants. That's like the scary thing about Risky. If he's playing well, you cannot stop this guy from scoring whatever he wants. Flip reset, double tap. He, uh, he's he even had a dunk, uh, like a crazy flip reset dunk, a flip reset bunk. At, uh, sorry, flip reset bump at one time. This guy just will hit anything. And I'm sure for Delete X, again, I'm sure for Delete XD Black, I already kind of recognize that that's going to be tough. Yeah, absolutely. And one thing I can say Deleted XD Black has done is not only, you know, not really rely too much on one player. Everybody's really been pulling their weight, but they have a phenomenal uh, way of identifying the other team's, you know, pros and, and neutralizing those. If you like teamwork, they're going to start stuffing those passing lanes early. If you like to be aggressive, they're going to put long clears on your net um, if you like to be passive, they're going to smother you. So I have to assume Evo, strong team as well. They're going to do well with the adjustments. But I think that's what it's going to be a battle of is who can can continue to make those adjustments and continue to stay one step ahead of their opponent. Yeah, again, you, you mentioned it again. The Elite XD Black can definitely play around opponents. Again, I mentioned it, how crazy that these two teams were both second seeds in the group. Elite XD Black was second seed below Unleashed Warfare. Evo Academy is second seed below BMX Paradox. Both those teams lost. Uh, in that quarterfinals, again, that momentum carrying through for these teams, but how they've made it to the grand finals, and against each other, I mean, they both deserve to do it, they both have been destroying the competition as of late, Zen, I mean, I, I gotta hear from you, you have anything that you want to say about the Black, because you've seen this team uh, all night long, is there anything you want to say about this roster? Number one, they love to bump, you know, you know me, Sporty, that's, there's nothing I love more than physical gameplay, and they have been doing it all night. And I want to really say, especially those first two series, the bumps might have been the, the big difference. So really look for them to make it physical, make it physical early, and then look for them to adapt. And I said it on Red Stream two series ago, it was Icy that really stepped up. Last series, it was Kenzie. Keep an eye on Nebula Goat. I think it's his turn. It's his time. I think we're going to see a big series out of him. Yeah, I would love to hear that as well as I think that's really just gone for everything here. We've gone through all we have had to talk about, but let's stop delaying this finals. Here we go. It's a one more best of seven tonight. Winner will win the ultimate cup. There's one challenge, one team in the way. It's been a long night of action. This stream has been live for almost four hours now. One more matchup. Don't you worry. This one will decide the winner. 
everything comes down to this. And I fully expect both sides. You know, they've been they've been here before. Um, they, they've been playing all day. I don't think we're going to see nerves get in the way too much. I think both of them are going to remain very composed. They're ready to step up to the plate. Yeah, me too. We, we love to hear this. Of course, as soon as I kind of bring the intro to this game, one of the players has to tell me there's an issue. So we got to wait even longer. <laughs> They're really letting us have kind of bask in this moment. This is amazing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, one of the players of, I think it's still the XD Black is having some issues here. Uh, cause they're having to like, oh, you want to know why it's a bathroom break. That's what has happened. Uh, always, yeah. They're having a bathroom break. Sporty. Always got to go to the bathroom <laughs> right before always. Nebula, Nebula. And uh, you know, he's, he's trying to sneak one in before we actually have to get the series started. Unfortunately, he has been caught. Uh, sorry, Nebula. Um, <laughs> didn't mean to have that happen. Don't worry. We'll get the series started. Don't worry. These guys again are also perfectly fine with delaying this if we need to. There's no real issue uh, with that. But again, Zen. Yeah, this is uh, this is it. This is where everything kind of ends. It's, it, I, I'm, it, you know, it's been a long night, but my goodness, it has been deserving uh, for these teams. It's been a long night. We've had 12 teams coming into the bracket. We only have two left. That's uh, that's kind of incredible to me to see how so many teams in this bracket and to have it end like this. Yep. And man, you know, it's it's been it's been crazy on my side. Like I was saying it earlier, but the the how equal. How equally skilled and you know how hungry these teams are has just been so evenly matched up on our side. I know it wasn't quite the same either. I had a couple sweeps, um, but it's just been you know matched up so insanely well. And it's crazy. I want to back up to what you said because um, so BMX Paradox were first in their group, so they must have they must have beat um, Evo Academy, right? They they were the ones I believe that did beat Evo Academy, yeah. Okay, so and then and then of course we saw deleted XD. We're able to best them in seven. I know Rocket League math doesn't work perfect like that, where if team A beats team B, team B beats C. That means A can beat C. It doesn't necessarily work like that, but we know this can go either way. I, I expect uh, Evo Academy to be coming in with a lot of confidence, but you have to wonder: Are they going to come in a little bit cold? They've had a, a lot longer of a layoff than uh, than deleted XD Black. I'm actually more worried about their about the about their uh, energy levels. These guys have, yeah. are also very tired. So they've had less matches to play, but we can tell at the end of the series to Team Nova. The reason they lost those two games uh, before they won was because they were tired, and they actually only won Game Six because somebody on Team Nova owned gold. That's what happened. So yeah, it's they're tired too. Don't worry, the fatigue is really going to get to these guys. But yeah. one more match, one more series. We are starting the grand finals. Zen Zivo, take it away. Oh, you didn't give me the name and password. <laughs> Oh dear, Zen Zero hasn't joined. Oh no. I was like, I was wondering if we forgot something here. Deleted XD Black all in the blue. Team Evo Academy on the orange. I think uh, Lobby Info's already been sent, my friend. Uh, they, they sent, I think, five minutes ago. But we'll get him back as. Oh, here oh we I, go. Was, I was looking in our DMs. I see. Whoopsies. My apologies. My apologies. All right, we'll get it. Was then back in here for this best of seven. Deleted XD Black, Evo Academy, and Evo Academy. They're going to come off with this aggression. This is a team that likes to play aggressive, likes to play that mechanical game. Knowing the players of the NXT Black, they're going to have to do well to hold that because Evo Academy are not going to let up on that offense. Yeah, I'm not sure where you put it. It's in the match channel. I don't even see that. I don't, I don't think I have access to that channel. Uh-oh. Let me make sure I get it to you then. <laughs> oh, no. As again, we're going to continue in this series. This is a great start to our finals. Have Zen completely absent from it. <laughs> let me find it. One sec. I know where it is. Yeah, here we go. So sorry about that, Zen. Let me okay. quickly get the info to you as still no goals been scored, so don't worry, you aren't missing anything yet. Here as these teams continue to attack. There you go. Perfect. Best they're of stalling seven just series. They're yeah, they're stalling for you here. Although yeah, Stoic yeah. may not want to stall any longer. Saved by KNZ. Immediate block here from Lead XD Academy Black. Team Evo Academy have kept offensive pressure throughout the, uh, throughout the first minute and almost a half. These guys have not let up. My goodness, here we go. Already 90 seconds off, and this has been much different than most of the games that Delete XD have had. Usually it's kind of a shootout in game one, and then as we go, you know, less and less opportunities, but one shot on the side of Deleted XD Black. Already a big save. That's going to make four already for Evo Academy. They are coming out really swinging and wanting to, to up the pace here to start game one. And Stoic is leading that. Stoic has been exceptional today, although, oh, that's almost a mistake from Stoic. Great save. Icy Nightwall will find it in. I shouldn't have spoke, Stoic. We'll make the mistake. That will give the next to the Academy Black the first goal of the series. And the big bump from Nebula Goat. He's been doing it all day. Whether he's air dribbling, whether he's 
flick the ball, or he might just be dribbling, drop the ball behind him, and continue forward and pick up a bump. He loves to make, make a physical. I don't think there's a better way to start this one. Deleted XD. After being outshot 4-1 to start it off, they start to scoring off here. Just under three minutes left to play. Yeah, they don't mind having less shots as long as they have the better shots. And, I mean, that, there's no shot better than a goal. That's for yep. sure, as Evo <laughs> Academy are still trying to find their chances. That's a big vocal rotation. I see Norwal will make it too. Evo Academy completely crumbled under their own bad rotations. A double commit on defense. And I see Narwhal will not let them have any chance to recover. And I see starting off two of two here. I won't lie to you. We haven't seen a lot offensively the last few series the last couple series excuse me out of icy he's been more of that defensive backbone but he finds kenzie oh no kenzie who's been placing perfect all night hits it to the only part of the net the defender can find it but we see deleted xd black really smothering here i see narwhal stoic Clears it away. KNZ again towards the midfield. I see. <laughs> Saved by Risky. Evo Academy are taking their own turn at defense. And you can already tell they don't like this one bit. Disky's got another block past KNZ. And so it will clear. Evo Academy can escape this nightmare on defense at last. And again, we have to wonder, are they, are they a little bit cold? You know, game one sometimes can be a, a bit of an anomaly, but Stoke tries to find the flip reset. Seth Palm. Gonna take over. I see is there to cut it off. Has to dodge the demo here. Stoic might have been trying to steal the boost, just get in front of him. Not sure exactly there. He does break it up, but every second that ticks off this clock is worse and worse for Evo Academy. No goals yet. Nebula over to Risky. Can he get back? Yes, he can. Here comes. I see that one's high. Evo Academy continue to find some fortune on defense, but they can't get that ball out. Now the block here, Nebula. Corner, risky. Ooh, he tried to get around there, but KNZ gets past two. Seth Bomb waiting. I see Narwhal will shoot. That's still going to be kept out. But this defense from Evo Academy has played well, but they don't need defense. Zen, they need offense, and they need a lot of it. They do indeed. Five saves here for Risky as Risky tries to get the pass around. Kenzie doesn't get the best clear here. Stoic is there, tries to place it. The defenders were in position, just puts it wide off the post. But yeah, Risky here, five saves already. Stoic, two big saves. My question is, can they continue that over an entire series? You know, that's a very, very hard play style to emulate over not only a best of five, but a best of seven like this. You don't want to be caught on the back foot, forced to make save after save after save. And yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. That's a good touch from Stoic, though. Down the field, icy narwhal. Oh, he's missed it. Risky could have scored it there, but uh, Risky didn't see it either. That was a huge opportunity that Glean XD Black almost got paid for as Stoic. Nebula will get through, try to get through Risky. KNZ down the field. This one will hit the corner. For the first time tonight, Evo Academy have not been able to start the series off in their favor. The NXT Black are here and are ready. And the finals will start with them leading 1-0. And they outshoot them 10-6 here. Again, the, the defense absolutely unreal from Evo Academy, specifically stoic and risky. But again, you, you don't want to be forced to play that play style the entire time. It's not going to go well for you. And for a team that's already feeling fatigued, that that's a very tiring play style very hard on the brain and the focus yeah it is and again you, you said icy normal it wasn't a very good shooter he's got two, the only two goals in this game i see he scored twice on five shots so uh, i think icy here is trying to say hey, hey, hey i think he heard what you're saying zen and i think he wants to change things as <laughs> well to be clear i did say he was a bad shooter he just was more the third man the majority of the time the last couple series so he didn't get like a lot of shots as again, they're asking for a map, a map change here, so oh, one yeah, sec. They, do. They, have, they, 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 have, they have frame issues on Forbidden Temple. Yep, and um, and so Sovereign Heights. And so well, I don't use Sovereign Heights, so that's that's fine. Here, we'll find a new map. I'll probably go with this. Um, again, again, that's a weird change, but yeah, we will make it happen here. Okay, tell them the same lobby info, Zen. We're gonna get them in here for game two. Gotcha. Oh, I don't think I can because I, I don't have access to that channel. Let me tell them then. Same info. Um, here is... There we go. Again, delete XD Black. 
We'll start the series off in their favorite Evo Academy. We'll have to make a slate. Uh, we'll have to make a difference here in their game plan, but hey, they're ready for game two. They're right back into it. Here we go. The series continues. The NXT Black had that first game, and all they need to do is just continue to win. They can take down Evo Academy. And they had multiple saves on the defensive end as well as Risky. You said it. He's so dangerous solo. Oh, my goodness. Stoic. It's stuffed by Icy, and already we see Evo Academy upping the pace, upping the aggression. They do not want to play like they're in quicksand as they did game one. They don't want to be stuck on their back foot all game, and it's already showing here, Sporty. Yeah, I told you this team can bring the offense once they start to think, get things going. Once, uh, again, I talked about Stoic. If he can, and, and Risky, if they can get things going, they will be unbe uh, unbeatable. You can't let these guys have that space, have that confidence to think that they can beat anybody. Because once they feel like that, you really have to be careful as KNZ. Challenged by Risky. Nebula. It's a good first touch. He's going to go for the flip reset. Nebula has it. Will use it. Set pulling with the block. And Evo Academy will have to keep playing close here. But that was a great save from Set Palm with Nebula barreling in on that net. Here's another chance. Stoic will block that one. Two great saves from Evo Academy. But again, you, again, this is reminiscent of game one. So much defense. So many heavy clears on the side. And Delete XD Black have the perfect response to that. Yep, and it's starting almost the exact same way. You know, Evo Academy have outshot them, but I don't think the quality of shots for Evo Academy has been, you know, quite the same as Icy. Big flick over third man and Icy. You said it. He listened to me. He took it personal that I said he was just the main defender, not so much an offensive threat because, my goodness, he is popping off here in the first, first two games of this series. He scored all the goals for everybody, not just his own team, but out of everybody on the pitch. This finals is not starting off the way I think Evo kind of expected it to. These guys have been dominant all day long, but the meta team that truly has their number is something they are not used to, and is something they need to get used to soon, because the NXT Black have their number. Risky, Blick, Seth Palm. will bounce off that sidewall. I see Narwhal, will send it away here. Stoic, off the corner. That's a great touch from KNZ, but nobody was there to receive it from the AXD, and so they have to try again. Icy. Nebula. It was a demo from Icy as well, but Nebula still getting chased down here as Risky in the midfield. Set Palm challenged by KNZ and Delete XD Black are just playing so energetic right now. Evo Academy have lost that energy, but Delete XD Black are just living with this energy. Sure, they might be on the back burners, but they are still playing as if they're on their full strength. Oh, and a double fake in front of the net there. I thought for sure that mistake was going to be an Evo Academy goal, but sometimes that happens, you know, sport. It happens to me a lot more than I care to admit, but I play the, the 50 instead of the ball, and that's exactly what both the offense and the defense did there. They both tried to read each other, and it led to both of them faking in front of the net, but we are starting to see some aggression. Icy picks up the save. Oh, and it's stoic. Forces the tough touch out of Nebula. Nebula able to get it out. I thought that was certainly going to be an Evo Academy. And I, I won't lie, Sporty, they squandered a couple opportunities there. Yeah, you, you really do have to say that, again, it was rough for them. And again, I'm surprised by how grounded they've kept this game. Evo Academy have gone for a lot of aerial plays last year when they played Team Nova. So I'm surprised to see them not trying to resort to that game plan here against deleted XD Academy Black. Risky. Still, though, again, it's it's kept to that wall. The XD have it. Gold. Oh, that's a good pass in front. Set bomb. One have it. Risky. Oh, he just beamed that open net shot. That one should have been 1-0. But that will be in. Set bomb will take it. Evo Academy will not have to worry about this absolute whiff of an open net from Risky. And it seems they might be out of hibernation finally. And I, I was going to feel very bad for them, Sporty. I'm not going to lie, because that's about three or four opportunities in front of the net they're in quick succession that they should have had a pretty easy goal we know all these players are capable of it but just a little mix up in rotation and then a little too hard of a shot barely missing off the crossbar barely missing off the post they are they are able to score but we're still tied up here Not under 90 seconds left to go deleted xd looking to go up 2-0 here but again evo academy out of the slumber they are awake now they are really putting it to them that one goal gave them a little bit extra here, and they could use that little bit extra to go a whole lot further. Seth Bomb could have put it on, and KNZ will find that touch away. Pinch play. Bisky. 
Icy Narwhal. Takes it to the corner. Set Palm with a challenge. That one's going straight to Stoic. A quick shot. Nebula's got that one. Stoic, we need to try a little bit harder if you're going to uh, break the defense of Deleted X to the Academy Black. Yeah, save your medal for both Icy and Nebula Goat. One also for Kinsey, but right now they're outshot 14 to 4 as Risky finds the top left there. Couldn't have placed it better. Risky really stepping up here. Goes airborne, as you said. Might not have much boost there as he had to flip through the pad to get up, but that airborne play certainly in their favor. And you would expect them to uh to kind of continue that moving forward in this series, really trying to use their, their advanced aerial mechanics. Yeah, we, I mentioned Risky for a reason. This guy can shoot so well, and, and well, it won't be him shooting there. It'll be Stoic. I mentioned him too, and uh, Team Evolve uh, Evo Academy are just going insane at this point. Again, that one goal has now just become three goals, and yeah. it's, it's come three in such quick succession that uh, their, their offense, their, their hype, their energy, you can definitely tell it's there now. Absolutely, and, you know, Deleted XD all day, it's been a battle of momentum for every one of their series. When they have the momentum, as risky, another one. Big bump there, I believe, from set. But um, the, the pass and the bump, I should say. But yeah, it's it's like when they have that momentum, they're able to, you know, full blaze. They're confident. You can see it in their movement, in their play style. They're, they're really trusting each other. But once that momentum shifts, it seems that they really struggle. The good news for them, though, so far tonight, so far through, you know, three series and 20 games, they haven't given up the momentum for more than one game. They've taken it back that next game every time. Risky, the dribble, and that will be saved, but it is game two, Evo Academy, and you're going to notice a bit of a pattern with Evo Academy's wins. When they win, uh, Zen, they win by about a million goals to one. Uh, they, yeah. they, 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 they will score a lot at the end of the game if they're holding pressure, especially when they have 18 shots. That is a lot. Wow. My goodness, I didn't think they had 18 shots. That is a lot of shots for Evo. And while the XD Black saved uh, eight of them, that still leaves 10 on answered, and four of them will be goals. My goodness, and you called it. I mean, everybody getting involved here. We see... So like one goal, two assists, one save. Risky picking up two big goals on seven attempts. Death Palm, a goal, two assists, and a save. So everybody really doing a bit of everything here. Yeah, that's about that's the thing about these these matchups. Sure, you can talk about the, the players, the single player who can make the difference. But if we were to just talk about one player all series long, that wouldn't be what describes these teams. These teams are not just one player. These teams are free, and they're free players who are extremely talented who can make it to this point. And now, again, those teams are going up against each other to take the finals. And again, that $75 prize pool here given to us by our sponsor of Black Lotus Tattoo Studio uh, here for the ATS Black Lotus Fall Open. Big shout out to the sponsor. And I'm assuming all 75 goes to the to the victor? Yep, only all goes to the winner here. That's how this nice. works. So it's a winner takes all. So yeah, there's, there's a lot on the line for these teams. Absolutely. Everything. I mean, the whole day of playing is on the line right here. Of course... You know, still getting second place. That's, you know, of course, an ego boost, a confidence boost. Um, but nobody wants second, Sporty, especially teams as, as competitive as this. Second might as well be last in these guys' eyes. I mean, you get the same amount as if you were last, so that's a great way yeah. to think about it. Team Evo Academy are trying to get away, Ooh. but that's a good shot there from I see. Deleted XD, Black with the first goal, 16 seconds in. Weren't happy with how last game ended, and they're here to give Evo Academy a bit of a lesson. And they they won the game six of the last series. They were down 2-1, and then caught third man up just a bit too much, and scored three in a row to close out game six. I've been seeing them do it all night. If you if you creep up too far as third man, they're going to punish you. Evo as as comfortable as they feel, as fast as they can play, as the double tap. Oh, Kenzie, that would have been huge. Um, but yeah, they they have to respect. They have to give them that respect. They cannot cheat that that third man up too close, or Deleted XD will score cross pitch goals all series long. The XD Black don't mind playing that style. They'll play it. They'll use it. This is a team that isn't trying anything fancy. They're just going to make sure they play the way that you don't want yeah. them to. As Seth couldn't put it on. Risky. Off the corner. That's a great pass to Stoic. That net's open. Evo Academy will tie it at one. And right there, they, they, were playing, they were playing super close, super aggressive. Stoic 
played a little with respect, but until he rotated back, they were certainly overcommitted. So it seems that right now, Evo are just going to kind of double down and say, nah, we, we don't need to respect you. We can smother you. We can keep it so much. But as I say to Cuxer, oh, I told you, they recognize, they make the adjustments. Right now, they see that they're getting so aggressive. But it's the other way. And it will go the other way. Oh, my goodness. What a turn of events here, Sporty. Stoic just did the impossible. Evo Academy in the lead. And we just about saw the same exact play. A big pinch on the other end. He pinches it, though. I think Icy might have might have got a little piece of that. He might have pinched that off Icy. Unbelievable. And Evo Academy right back in the lead. Stoic saw what I uh, saw what the. Uh... Nebula was doing the other side, said, I'll raise you one. And he totally <laughs> did that. But here comes Icy to score. Every goal matters the same. And the leader XD Black know that better than anybody else. Indeed, you said it. You know, these guys, especially Nebula Goat, I want to say, ha does have individual mechanics. He, he can, you know, if he has space, he's getting a flip reset. He's really doing what he wants. He's keeping control. But they know at this, against this type of defense, they're not really getting that space. So... It doesn't matter what kind of shot you score on them. Every goal counts the same. They're fine. They don't need to be flashy. They're fine using that teamwork, getting cookie cutter goals. And as we say it, big teamwork here. Icy finds Nebula upfield. Nebula, the give and go right back to Icy. Icy, perfect placement, puts it behind the defender. They are back up by one. Evo Academy in a great position to block that, but that does not make a difference. Deleted XD Academy Black have the response. Their play is just too good. Now Evo's got to find a response. Seth, oh, he's missed that one completely. Stoic. He gets chased, but he's still got the flick. Icy Nile with the block. Stoic. Gonna move back, so is Risky. Risky. Pass K and Z. Nebula last one back there, but Evo Academy will not find the time there for it. Stoic with the pinch. Across the net. Miss to the front. Set bomb takes it. 3-3. Free, free. This one, as you wanted it to see, Zen Zero. This one is goals galore. Absolutely. And I mean, this epitomizes deleted XD's entire day. Right now, it's 1-1 in the series, and it's back and forth every goal. Neither side giving up too much room. Seth Pomp doesn't get the best clear, though. I see who I want to say is three of three here in this series. I mean, he's really defying the expectations I had for him coming in as typically playing that third man. He is playing that striker, showing that he, is, he, you know, he can diversify. He needs to be the defender. He can do it. He needs to be the scorer. He can do it. They find themselves on offense here, all tied up halfway through game number three. Risky. Seth Pomp will jump. A and Z will challenge, and the next D Black have it again. Look, two minutes on that clock, and still so many goals could be scored at this point between these two teams. Their offense is no-no bounds. Their scoring no-no bounds. Their defense is just going to have to keep up. And here comes KNZ. Seth can't get there. KNZ has been playing amazing all night, and he's just hit another fantastic strike. And again, the placement, the placement coming from the entire offense right now out of deleted XD, they have to put these balls in the perfect position, you know, either behind the opponent or just out of reach. Doing a fantastic job, but Stoic flip reset. Oh, it's a little, was it a Pogo, a plan B, whatever you want to call it here. I got to see the replay because I didn't really see it. Gets the flip, goes under Neb. Oh, it gets the musty off the ground. Unreal shot from Stoic there to tie it right back up. It wasn't pretty, but it works, and that's all that he cares about. That's a tie game again. Next goal could be the winner, but let's be real honest. This series, and this game specifically, have proven that that's definitely not going to be the case. Seth, up the field. In the front of the net, Nebula will have it, but it goes out to Nisky. You will want him! Because he can do right that! Risky! Team of Academy in the lead here! It's a two-goal swing! And I think Nebula just kind of misread that. And when he got the clear, it was pretty much just a pass out. And to the last person you want to give the ball away to in Risky, Risky. Talk about shot placement. What's it perfect? And if I'm not mistaken, this is the first lead for for um, Evo Academy here. And there's been nine goals here, 90 seconds left. 
Yeah, they're, they're getting it late. This team is a team that likes to play late. It's, it's, it's what makes them exciting to watch. It's both the fact that they play so much offense, but they also love to make you scream about those last second goals. They're trying it here. They're definitely succeeding in some aspect, but here comes KNZ in front. Nebula! Nebula finds it! Deleted XD Black are right back in it! And five goals, five assists on the side of Deleted XD. I mean, we are seeing uh, a straight up battle here between playstyles. One playstyle completely relying on teamwork, one a little more on solo plays, a little more on mechs. My goodness, Nebula has done everything. Picked up a goal, three assists, two saves here, jack of all trades. We're all tied up, headed into the final 60. 5-5 five, five is the setup there. Oh, Nebula picks up a savior medal as well. Nebula saves it again. Evo Academy are trying everything they can. They want this series to be theirs. You can tell they want it. But Steph will be challenged there. Stoic off the back wall, but no one in the midfield. It's risky to shoot! Risky! 11 goals combined, and Evo Academy are leading once again. And again, Risky in position, finds himself in the right place at the exact right time. And we're going to have to see somebody from Deleted XD get out there, put a hand up, put a body on that shot. You do not want to let Risky choose where he's going to shoot it because he nine times out of ten, it seems, he's going to put it in the perfect spot. Yeah, but now all Risky needs to do is play some defense. Evo Academy can win right here with this score line here in game three. KNZ won't let it happen early. Steph Palm off the back wall. Still the ball for the NXT. What a redirect. It's a base down the field. Here comes Nebula. Saved by Risky. He'll keep it in. Ten seconds left. Nebula. KNZ! It goes in again. Deleted XD Black. Stay alive with seven seconds remaining. I'm not going to lie, Sporty. If I quit talking, I, I may have straight passed out. And I'm not even exaggerating. I mean, this the entire day has been like this for me. Just to let you know, the entire day has been like this. But right here, right now, when the stakes are like this, Stoic might have one more opportunity. Off the ceiling, goes for the pinch. Stopped by Kinsey. Oh, this one's headed all the way back towards the net. Risky. Gonna kill it. I don't, I don't blame him. Despite the name, he is not going to take a risk with that one. We have our first overtime here. Game number three, 12 goals between them. My goodness, take it away, Sporty. 12 goals, you've said it. And there's gonna be one more to take the game. And who will take it? They want it to be the number Evo, Stoic, midfield, cleared out wide by Elite XD. Nebula to the sidewall, solo play, Nebula. He's done it all so far. He wants to do it again, but Sepom will have the block. I see he's the last one remaining. Elite XD got bumped. Here comes Sepom. Uh -oh. Stoic, open in. Evo Academy will take serious advantage. My goodness, I just want you to take a look at these score lines. We, we get to admire it after this game, but my goodness, exact number of shots from each side. One player putting seven on, one player putting four on, one player putting three shots on. I mean, it doesn't get any more identical than that right there. We see six assists on the side of deleted for six shots, five assists on seven goals for Evo. I should say goals, not shots. But my goodness, and Nebula really playing that that you know support role there, four assists and four saves. I that that's got to be a huge confidence booster and momentum booster for Evo Academy. Yeah, and it's gonna be a huge detriment to deleted XD Black. You score six goals in a game. You're, you're you're winning that game. Not here in the finals. Not against nope. Evo Academy when they can raise one more. Yeah, it's gonna be extremely detrimental. But they have to res make a resurgence. They have to come back because this is is the finals and this is single elimination. You lose your out and really next to the Academy Black. They lost badly. Now they've got to make the response. I'm looking to not allow that big dunk. This is my waterfall right in. No. It is off the backboard. Nebula able to get the demo on the way out. Can he find the pass? He can't. Does pull a double commit, though. Risky gets up. Icy back in a 3v1. Tries to clear it away, but Risky right there to continue. And that's something they've done all night has Evo Academy. They plant that third man right there at midfield. He is ready to rotate in at a moment's notice. 
And because of that, they've really smothered them. My goodness, Kinsey keeps the shot out. Big 50 by Nebula. Kinsey gets the dunk out. So it's going to try to stay on it. But wow, that first 40 seconds, all Evo Academy, as I said, their confidence sky high right now. The momentum through the roof. Lead and XD were in the trenches there, but they're able to escape. And now they got a chance, Kenzie. Oh. No one in the midfield. Nebula went for that bump. Now he's going for another one on Stoic. Icy found the corner. Risky has that one there. McKenzie is still looking. Can't get the touch. Set palm. 15 boost. Stark moving ahead. Looking for the bump. But Nebula will jump for it. A strong shot from Nebula. A strong play on defense. And Team Evo Academy cannot believe their eyes. The 2v1 will not even begin here as Nebula is just going to stand in the way. And just like that, we are right back to a little bit of scoreless Rocket League. Both sides not wanting to give up any type of pressure not wanting to allow any type of teamwork as nebula gets the flip fakes it but stoic very very composed in that big time stop play the xd looking for another opportunity kenzie it's the pop-up seth it's a nice clear out to buy some time risky first to it and icy i believe he thought he had a little more time there not enough nebula gets the demo oh but they get it right back in blood seth bomb doesn't get easier than that. Risky, I believe it was, with a big-time demo. Easy peasy. He even goes airborne for it, Sporty. Yeah, Risky got that demo. Risky will do anything he can to keep this momentum going. Evo Academy with goal number one. But they've got to keep it going. We know the NXT Black are here and ready. And if there's one thing this team can do, they don't seem to be you know losing anything because of that last game loss in fact it seems like it's lighting a fire under the uh, under them here to get themselves back into it but that's not gonna do it yeah do it what a save from nebula off that back wall and elite next to the black will keep it by a single goal ne nebula ceiling miss nebula by himself stoic's got that one blocked knz now light shot towards net set balls missed i say oh. and elite next to black will get an equalizer and they've outshot him five to four, so super close, but Stoic already with an early savior medal in the first half of this game, really stepping up on defense, but we kind of saw a quantity over quality approach on that offensive push. Oh, but Seth might have to open that. No, I see back just in time to save it. That would have been so demoralizing, Sporty, if they would have finally tied it up here in this game just to, just to drop it off a kickoff. Well, they won't. And now they can go to normal offense here. Both these teams are still forcing it, still trying it. So many demos getting involved. Stoic will get beat there. A demo from Icy here on Seth Risky. Dunk by Nebula, but that will go all the way towards Icy Narwhal, and he was not ready for it. And that will be Evo Academy's ball right back. That's a double commit! Risky's out and open! Oh, it was given to him with a silver platter! Deleted XD Black! They just did this to themselves! Yeah, they have to communicate that. You know, I, I doubt either one knew the other one was there. And if they did, they didn't realize both had a good option there, right? I mean, I think, honestly, it would have been Kinsey's ball because Kinsey could take that to the wall. But, my goodness, either could have had it risky. Looking to pile on. But the flick is stopped by Kinsey on the goal line. They still have just about two minutes left. And we know from last game, they can score pretty much at will, but oh no, Stoic doing a bit of everything this game. Catches them slipping here, catches them rotating out of defense just a moment too early. Big bang on target and Icy just had left. He should have been pulling in back post there. I know it's so much easier said than done when you see your teammate pushing the ball upfield, but as third man, especially against a team like Evo Academy, you have to be sure that they are winning that 50 or they are, are pushing all the way into offense. Well, it's going to be up to Deleted XD to make that response to get some goals back. Well, it's this game and this series we put on edge. Nebula challenged by Seth Palm. That one will go to the other side of the field. I see Narwhal there. Stoic with the challenge in front of the net. Nebula doesn't have it. Oh, but neither did Risky. And Evil Academy will have to go back. Seth Palm with the block. In comes maybe Nebula and I see Narwhal. Gets that 50 over. Still doesn't have that second touch. And Evo Academy are playing the defense. Here comes Risky. NZ will have. The NXT Black are getting stuffed here by Team Evo's side that will not leave that midfield. Nebula 
Big pass, risky. And that one's actually got past Stark as well. You'll get one touch on it, but Nebula's still faster. The pinch, maybe the pass to KNZ. Oh, Saved oh. by Stoic. I see now on the other side of the field with no boost. And that play will die down there. They'll have to look for another chance and another play on offense. Stoic has every save for Evo Academy. Four saves on six attempts for for deleted xd black i mean big time oh the double fake from risky icy was back they'll put back from stoic denied by kenzie this one across the pitch no it's gonna be wide though could have been huge for deleted xd but seth gonna regain and take the other way that might be the dagger sporty we might see them on series point headed into game number five icy that's one more attempt only eight seconds left, though. I think it's going to be too little, too late from Deleted XD. And we will see Evo Academy after dropping game one. They take three straight, but none of them have been easy at all. No, but remember what you said. That first game isn't always going to tell yep. you what the series will be like. And that first game is the only one that Deleted XD Black have had. Team Evo Academy are just doing it they're willing themselves to move forward just a little bit more but we've seen free one leads lose get lost before we've seen teams lose this before you cannot and they will and you should not ever uh, consider it done until it's done especially when deleted xd black are across the pitch we've seen them go to game six game seven all day big victories and they started today out going down 2-0 against Omega Fury and the second game was a little bit not not dominant but it was all Omega Fury and then they won four straight so we know they're very capable of it but if you're Evo Academy you want to you want to finish this one as early as possible every extra game it becomes their series to lose Evo Academy though right now in a phenomenal position and really I want to say that game was on the back of Stoic he picked up every save for Evo Academy, four big saves and a goal and assist too, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken on that. Yeah, he didn't have an assist, but he did have everything else, as you said. Four saves and a goal, stoic. Uh, again, what a what a performance from him again. That is MVP worthy. By the way, we will have an MVP award after this finals, so that's going to be another thing you'll want to look forward to. So many players on the, uh, here are fighting for it, and only one player will actually get that accolade. The series isn't over yet, though. That MVP award will have to wait for just a little bit longer, but. This is anybody's uh, anybody's series, really. But Evo Academy are up by three, uh, up three one, and it's a deleted XD uh, Blackstern to try to make that comeback happen. And I think we're a, a bit lucky that we're not forced to uh, choose as I see big setup here from Nebula Goat. Exactly what they needed. They needed desperately to strike first here in this game. Nebula Goat beats pretty much the whole team. Stoic. Too little, too late. He puts a hand up, but Icy not missing that one. But yeah, if we had to choose, you know, an MVP right now, I don't know. I don't think I could, to be honest, Sporty. I mean, everybody from both teams really stepping up when they need them the most and, and having, you know, a great game. And then the next game, it's it's their teammate. Yeah, of course. Again, everybody taking turns being that great player. That's why these teams are in the final. That's why they're here. That's why this series has just been insane. The night has been insane. And these players continue to fight for it. Stoic takes it to the sidewall. Potential for a solo play, but KNZ will challenge. Stoic gets a pass. Ah, that one. Nebula will have that block on the ground. And uh, Team Evo Academy will have to wait back. KNZ almost found Nebula on that one. Would have been insane if Nebula was somehow able to make contact there. But Evo Academy will look for another clear. Miss there in front demo. I see Narwhal oh. will score as an open net. And Evil Academy's defense fell very, very quickly. And I will say this is the least physical of a series that I've seen all night out of deleted XD Black. I mean, they've had way more bumps and demos than this up to this. But I would have to assume it's because Evo Academy keeps such a fast pace and they keep their heads on a swivel. They're not allowing so many demos but I definitely think we're going to see Deleted XD try to continue this. They, they like that style. They want to start frustrating you and get in your head with those demos. Stoic almost in. Oh. That one's just ping pong towards the back wall. <laughs> but it's risky. We'll get there. Risky. Sidewall. Looking for that second touch to go down the field. But Icing Arnold's already read it. And it's going to be Team Evo Academy. You have to try again. Stoic. All his boost there just for that touch. Seth Bomb. 
And Zee will hit it back, and that's a great pinch across. Risky shoots. Is Icy going to get back? Here comes Sip, but he won't get that shot. And it will be saved by Icy. Deleted XD Academy Black will keep their current game shutout going as we're now surpassing that three minute mark. Three minutes left in this game. Deleted XD Black are holding a huge stronghold here. Oh, but they barely, barely escaped by the skin of their teeth there. They're not out of danger yet. Kinsey finally buys a little room, a little time. Nice touch, but it's again risky right there. They're up two, but over half a game left, especially against a strong team like Evo Academy. They cannot be comfortable with this. They can't live the rest of this game on their half or, you know, that could be the end of the series. So I expect them to continue the aggression, continue to try to score and run this run this score up. Well, Evo Academy, if we know anything about this team, they can make late game comebacks. They've done it so often on the stream and they did it so often on their own Cobra stream earlier today for those first two rounds. They've had the bite from all the way back, but they've been able to do it. And now... They need to continue to find that kind of extra a little bit of energy. This series is far from over, but that's a good fake. KNZ will block, but here comes Risky to shoot! Save by Icy Narwhal. That was point blank range. Icy will jump and guess correctly on where Risky was finding it. KNZ the other way. Sapon with that block, though. And this game stays at this two-goal margin. And Nebula gets the flip. Oh, he fakes it, Icy. Dives in at the last moment. Risky somehow saves it. Stoic forced to get a save as well. A little bit of a fake here. Risky bumped on his attempt out. Then he's demoed. That has to get in the head of Evo. And it might be an open net for Nebula. No, Risky. There at the last moment. Kinsey does get the pitch around though. Seth, can he clear it out? Can he buy some time? He does get a good clear there. But Kinsey got a back pass to Nebula. Nebula off the back. But can he line up the double? No. Stoic, once again, huge on that defensive back line. Yeah, and so far, I mean, you can just tell it's the NXT Academy Black who's waiting in the midfield, getting their chance. The flip reset! Saved by Stoic! Team Evo Academy are still well and truly in this Zen Zero, but they have a minute to get two goals. A tough ask against a team like this in the finals, like this. When the pressure is on like this, when uh, 30 people are watching this stream, Evo Academy, can they be clutch? Can they make it happen? Stoic, that one saved in front for Sap Bomb, but that one won't get through. And the NXT the Academy Black will take it back. That one is on, but it is wide. Follow up won't happen from Nebula. And now time is just becoming even worse here for Evo Academy. Now only about 30 seconds in this game. This series, it might still continue unless something happens. And again, as we said, you know, every game here that Deleted XD are able to take, it really becomes Evo Academy's game to lose. And it takes a special kind of composure to be up 3-1 and then if you find yourself in a game seven to not let that voice in your head get to you that says, hey, we can't we can't throw this. We can't throw this. So I expect Evo. Oh, big Cree flip save from Kinsey. I mean, my goodness, Evo are doing what they need to do here. It's just the defense of the lead at XD Black really stepping up. Even though their offense went up to oh, their defense held on big time there. It's three two. If we see the lead XD take this next game. It's going to be tough for Evo Academy to, like I said, really, you know, battle that voice in their head and, and not be nervous and, and not be thinking, oh, no, we can't throw this. Well, so far, every series on my stream has gone to at least game six. We've had one game seven as well. This series will be no different. We're going to Neo Tokyo once again. And again, Evo Academy still have a chance to take the series. But with the NXT Black bringing this kind of defense on against them, if they can repeat that, game seven will be our final destination. Absolutely. And we see here, even though, you know, the shooting, very similar one shot differential here, nine to 10, five saves to five saves, but deleted XD saves were much, much better. In my opinion, they had to make much crazier saves. So seeing that five, five looks even, but it really wasn't much easier saves on the side of Evo Academy and just crazy saves there. I'd love to see that Evo Academy really turned it up at the end there, got super aggressive. They didn't lie down and die. They fought until the last moment. They need to carry that in here to game six.
And, you know, I feel like there's a bit of desperation with these teams now that we're at this point in the series in the finals. They've been playing for over four and a half hours. We're nearing five hours straight for this tournament. These dealers are exhausted. This is a long day of Rocket League, and you can really tell that they don't, they want to have it end as, my goodness, Stark with all the chain dashes on that back wall. But here comes KNZ. Nebula wants it. Seth Palm will have the clear. Now they've got the icy narwhal. Nebula with the demo and stoic. Risky. Low boost will just waste out some time here and allow Evo Academy to potentially get some boost, get some time to get a response. And now here's Risky again. 50 with KNZ. Jumping in this set palm. That's gone to the midfield. Soic wanted to step up, but Nebula Goat will make him move back. And Evo Academy will have to try again on the offense. It's for really for Evo Academy. It's just it's a trial and error kind of game. They'll move to offense, they'll go back to defense, and then they'll try something yep. new. And that's what they have to continue to do the whole time. They can't. You know, we talk about it. Neither of these teams can take a, a cookie cutter approach. Nebula, nice pass from Kinsey, gets the pop, but a big save from Seth. But they have to have that ingenuity. They have to have those unorthodox setups, those, those you know, ingenious team plays. As we see one here, Kinsey said, no, I see, but the demo happened in net from Nebula, but I believe I see was just playing that a tad safe here. And I don't blame them. It's, you know, it's not desperation time at all. They're all tied up here only 90 seconds into this game. Yeah, he's not going to take a chance there to give up a goal against Evo Academy. We've nope. already seen what this team can do when they, uh, when it's 3v3, but when it's a 3v2 the other way, that's not what you want. And it'll pass. Seth couldn't put it on. Stoic will challenge, but he's oh, lost no. it to KNZ. Open net, and KNZ will direct it in. Deleted XD Black with the first strike. Evo Academy got a bit too aggressive there. Yep, talking about taking risks, going all in as third man. It's one thing if you have your first man starting to rotate back at least, but he did not. Both of them had just kind of dove in, hadn't recovered to start to, to rotate back. Obviously, if he wins that 50, it's okay, but high risk, high reward right there. And, you know, I don't think two minutes in tied up game, I don't think it was time to do that just quite yet. No, he took an unnecessary challenge. He'll pay for it there. And now Evo Academy need to score in front. Set bomb with a block. And it will stay wide. Nebula. Ooh, he doesn't get it. It's going to go down for Ice Narwhal. He has taken that boost. We've seen a lot of that from Bleeded XD. But they're going to steal yeah. that boost from Evo Academy. It hasn't really slowed Evo because they, they play so fast. They'll still win a lot of those boost races. But you can definitely see them try. Set bomb. What a triple! Oh my goodness, set bomb! The power on that touch. And Evo Academy off the touch from the captain are back at halftime. And just a bit of a confusion, miscommunication there, not really sure, because they had a defender in the net and a defender on the back wall. Somebody has to get up and challenge that. You can't give any of these players on either side of the pitch a free open net look like that off of an air dribble. Seth Pond off the post and in, really going to punish them, but I see the attack in the other way. Seth Pond. Picks up a big save. He's stepped up here. Already 420 points, four saves, and the only goal for them. Really big game here from Seth Palm. He does not want to see a game seven, and I do not blame him one bit, Sporty. Uh, you know, going up 3-1, game seven is the last thing you want to see. Nevo Academy will have to continue to fight to, to secure that non-game seven ending. They'll need another goal. They'll probably need a few goals if we are being really honest here. Risky, that's gone wide. Here comes Seth Palm. KNZ will block. And deleted XD Black are still playing defensively. KNZ with uh, that with one save there, but my goodness, this has been real pressure. Nebula, oh, he stopped! Oh. Nebula stopped! What was he doing? Set Palm scores, and that mistake may prove to be what will win this championship for Evo Academy. Yeah, he just killed his momentum just slightly, and I don't know if maybe he didn't want to open up a slot behind himself there. He knew he knew in the position he was, they couldn't put it behind him, but killing all of his momentum. Oh my goodness, it almost gets scored off from the kickoff. Killing his momentum there, certainly not the answer. And we have our first lead, I believe here. I could be wrong, but I think, didn't Deleted XD score first this game? They might have. They very well might have, oh, but they aren't scoring last. it doesn't matter last. regardless, because yes, indeed, Stoic said you could score first, whatever, we will score last. Gets the flip reset, uses it to pinch it, actually big time 50 off the post, and that's, I think that's every goal has been off the post for them. I know at least two of them, the, the air dribble um, 
from from Seth was off the post as well. So Ooh. getting a little bit of luck here. And oh my goodness, the misread. Oh, it seems that the fatigue, the the long day is really starting to get to uh to deleted XD Black as that's a, all he has that touch all day. But at the worst time terrible whiff they find themselves down 4-1 we know they can do it right just a little over 20 seconds a piece needed for each goal three goals here in a minute but very tough task first thing they need to do is get the momentum oh no i see he had the open net i don't think he realized just how open it was and that's a testament to how aggressive evo are like why are they all up filled up three four one with just a minute left i mean that could have been bad that could have been but it won't be that way and that's another overcommit. They tried, they'll fail. Risky will make it five. Evo Academy will secure this championship here with that goal. And again, the NXT Black, you just saw it. They just lost the energy at the end of this game. And that's gonna be Evo Academy running away with this one and taking the trophy home. A definitely perfect, perfect way to put it. They absolutely ran away with this one right at the very end. And I, you know, we've seen crazy things, but I don't think I've ever seen a four goal, 30 second comeback. We know deleted XD, they're not going to quit till it's over, but every second that ticks off it is, you know, that dagger in the back, the nail in the coffin. Big shout out to deleted XD. I actually got to cast every series for them today outside of the group stages. And my goodness, they, they deserve, they deserve to be very, very proud of today, but Evo Academy after dropping game one, really stepped up, very consistent. They are our Black Lotus Ultimate Cup champions. Evo Academy take it. Their winners here, the $75 is theirs, the championship is theirs, and the Evo Academy, man, a long day of action, and they'll be the ones who'll prove to be successful. It's been a long day, and I'm sure that these guys can agree, but hey, they deserve that win. They played exceptionally. And Stokes says to my boy Ryan watching, love you. Big shout out to Ryan for supporting, and yes, it has been a crazy day, and you know, Kat, we, we both just casted four best of sevens in a row, but these players were even playing for a couple of hours before we started casting. So we know they have to be tired. And again, I think, you know, deleted XD having to play 19 games from round one quarterfinals, semifinals really got to him there. And the fatigue really set in here in game number six. Yeah, again, what a matchup. We'll take a look at that bracket here. That is, I keep going to the wrong page. <laughs> there we go. It's going to happen again. I keep going to the wrong page, but hey, Evo Academy are winners here. We'll take a look at their run tonight because their run was the one that did it. They started with a sweep over Lead XD Gold and they swept 125 Quantum. Then we, they joined my stream where they took down Team Nova after winning the first three games in the series. As you now in the finals, they are champions. Another 4 2. Oh, that's not it, right? Another 4 2 here. Taking down Lead XD Black. Congratulations here to Evo Academy. That was uh, well fought, well earned, and uh, my goodness, Zen, wow, what a night, what a day has been. But it's only going to get better because we've got more action tomorrow. You want to talk to everybody about that? Yeah, so tomorrow I know is the um, Pinnacle Cup, so you would probably be the one better. But so this is this is pretty much the second tier, right? This was GC1, GC2. We're going to see even the GC3. And correct me if I'm wrong, will there be SSLs or is it just GC3? It's it's GC3 and up. So yes, there are SSLs. That's what I thought. That's what I figured. So, so There's a lot of SSLs in this, in this final bracket. I mean, you know, I don't see how today could be topped, but we're going to see pretty much the same thing, but even at a higher level. And there's only one more level after this, and we're going to get to see it tomorrow. Yeah, of course. As we are going to get an interview here with the players of uh, Evo Academy. I know they've, I know that they've had a long day, but we got to talk with them here. Joining us is Risky, Stoic, and Seth Palm. Welcome in, Seth Palm. At win. It's been a five-hour day for you guys. I'm sure it's been a little longer than that with your warm-ups, but hey, you guys are champions at last. Champions of the Black Lotus Fall Open. Tell us how it feels, Seth Palm. Hi, man. We are amazing. This is a win that has been much needed just to get our confidence up you know you know I, i'm a sub coming into this game wasn't really yeah. expecting much and uh you know we just we ended up we, we put it together and this is a win that has been highly anticipated you know the evo squad in general like we haven't been doing success being haven't had much success lately so 
um, this is a big win for us, and, and we're super, super happy to be here. So, Well, you guys absolutely deserve that one. I mean, unrun, and I won't lie to you, it, it really surprises me, um, to be honest, that you said that you guys, you know, needed it because you haven't been playing well because I – absolutely never ever would have guessed that the way you guys came in today um but but my question for you um and, and i'll ask stoic did, were you guys a little cold coming into game one i know you guys had a little bit of a, a kind of a layoff you know you had to wait as to where the lead xd black didn't and you certainly didn't look yourselves game one were you cold or was that more of you guys you know having a filling out process uh kind of a mix between like cold uh, feeling it out and just kind of overall being nervous, you know. I mean, at least for me, I was incredibly nervous. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, it's the grand finals, you know. If there's ever a time to be nervous, it's going to be then. And of course, you know, you guys fought through that. That clearly, clearly was gone in game two because you guys absolutely dominated. Big congratulations. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure Sporty has another question, so I'll let him take it. Yeah, of course, Stoic. Um... How does it feel being an MVP? Yes, you are now the Black Lotus Ultimate Cup MVP. Congratulations, Stoic. How how are you feeling? I mean, you played exceptionally well tonight, but I, I, again, now you get that little extra accolade as well. Does does it feel good to be uh to be MVP level? Uh, very. But at the same time, extremely tired. <laughs> <laughs> I have not eaten all day, so I am extremely tired. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, I feel Much that. deserved, bro. Yeah, I feel yeah. that as well. I understand kind of the, the tiring kind of situation yeah. you're in. I mean, to add to this as well, Rieske, you yourself were also just insane. Again, everybody had to play insane yeah. for today. You're in some crazy easy plays, but we got to talk about game three. We got to talk about game three. The, 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 what was it? What was it? Let's send like, like 13 goals. 5-1. Oh, no, yeah, the 7-6, seven, 7-6. Six, seven, six. Yeah, yeah, 13 that goals. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, you got to tell us about that. I don't think you scored the game winner, Rieske, but you definitely had to be involved to get this team there. Can you tell us about... Uh, about that third game because that third game was uh well that was uh, one of the best games that we could have asked for yeah it's it, coming from a a guy with some casting experience myself i'm sure that was a lot of fun for you yeah. guys oh, um yeah. <laughs> uh, not much defense to be played in that game but uh i will give a lot of credit to my teammates uh actually especially Stowe, uh just the way he's able to get past some people and give me a clear shot um, it's, it's, it's basically what you can ask for when, um, uh, when you're a shooter like myself with that kind of play style. Um, so yeah, I, uh, my main goal is to just, uh, increase my shooting percentage game in and game out. That, that's basically my goal. Yeah. I, I love it again. Big, big congratulations to you guys. This, this is always my question whenever, um, you know, you win the grand finals. Do you guys have anything planned or, or are you guys just going to go eat and get some much needed rest? Sleep. <laughs> Stoic needs to sleep. Stoic needs his nap. I don't blame you again. Congratulations yeah. on your win there. So many matches, so many wins. You guys are able to do a Team Evo Academy are champions. But before you go, uh, we're going to do some shout outs here because you guys win. You deserve this one. We're going to start with Risky. We'll go down the line. Risky, do you have any shout outs here for anybody watching the stream? Anything that anybody that you have in mind? Uh, yeah, of course. I, uh, I always make sure to send the Twitch link to my family at home. So I got to shout them out. Also, um, our teammate, Philly or Ryan, who uh, yeah. unfortunately had a untimely vacation that happened to be uh, at the time of this tournament. Um, and also for my third shout, I want to shout out Seth Palm for taking the win home for his org. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Well, that's going to be the next person we'll talk to, Seth Bomb. It, do you have anything that you want to add to what Risky has just said? Yeah, absolutely. Um, especially, you know, I, I've got some friends over right now. <laughs> it's kind of my plan going into tonight. I was thinking, you know, I was going to go hang out with some friends. It's almost uh, 11 p.m. and now it might be a little bit late, but they're all, they're all <laughs> out there supporting us um, and, and watching. <laughs> and uh, I hear them cheering every once in a while. So big shout out to them. And, uh, you know, big shout out to to everybody in in the Evo community that came out and supported. Um, adding on to Risky, of course, a big shout out to Ryan uh, Philly, our our other teammate. He's on vacation right now, couldn't make it tonight, but um, love that man. He's uh, he's 
he makes this team so special. And, and unfortunately, he wasn't here tonight, but we were able to get the job done. And uh, finally, shout out Ethan. I, you know, I don't know who that is, but I was told to give yeah. him a shout out. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will end off with our MVP, Stoic. You've taken the crown. You've taken a little MVP award as well. Is there anything that you have to say here? Um, pretty much the only person worth shouting out for me is Ethan and uh, and maybe Ryan. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, again, congratulations, Team Evo Academy, on the win. You guys are champions. I know we'll be seeing you on the stream again very soon. Congratulations. Have a great night. And, uh, well, again, congratulations on being champions. That that was impressive from you guys. Thank AGL you. Championship Thank next you week, so by the way. Yeah. AGL Championship tomorrow. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. yeah we got three, two. Baby. Wait, what? <laughs> three on finals, baby. I'm trying to Wait. go that way. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, best of luck on that. Thank you. Thank oh, you. No, my back's gonna hurt more. <laughs> oh, no. oh my. uncalled for. Oh, no. <laughs> Out of pocket. Oh, there goes stuck again. Again, congratulations. <laughs> okay, we will. Uh, we'll be ending this out here as 50s all joining us. Hello, 50. I know you are again one of the guys leading us here behind the scenes. Again, big shout outs to you. Anything that's. Uh, it, I know you've joined, so you have to. You have like a whole monologue for us to hear. Is there, <laughs> what do you want to say here about this one? Because I know. Uh, I know this has been an incredible night of action. Honestly, this was amazing. Shout out to all the casters for giving me all their time today and casting all these games. Shout out to Sporty. Shout out to Zen. Shout out to Cobra. Shout out to Red Falcon. Everybody did a fantastic job. That was it, what a incredible tournament this was today. Like I've literally watched every single game. Like I had four screens set up. I was watching everything. At, at, like I was so invested in this whether whether it was a 100x team or not it didn't matter who was playing i was there i was watching and i was enjoying every single moment of it also shout out to omega fury for stepping in as the reserve team they did come in uh, last second and replace one of the teams that unfortunately could not make it so this is one of the reasons why we have the reserve system is if you just miss out on qualifying there's still a chance there's always a chance because you never know sometimes life gets in the way and they got a chance today even though they didn't make it out of the first round they did put up a fight they actually went up 2-0 on deleted xd so shout out for to them at being as talented as they are but honestly man i'm exhausted yeah, me too <laughs> we've got one more day of this 50 hang in with us here no 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 i, I I'm, I'm ready for tomorrow i i realize i need a i need to go in with a little more sleep and just be a little more like ready to go because man so many games today that game three especially in this uh grand final was probably one of the greatest games i've ever seen hands down that Did was gray hair oh my god that set six to seven <laughs> overtime yeah uh, zen has followed this xd team all the way here all the way they, they did not play a series less than six games nope. and every single game was just like harp uh stopping and then uh nova on, on your stream sporty when, when they had that last minute comeback against uh evo unlimited to, to win that in seven like that was a crazy game as well like so many memorable moments today so many crazy goals goals shout out to the, of course the mvp stoic shout out to team evo uh shout out you know to delete xd black for coming in here and kind of shocking a lot of people you know they, they, they made it to the grand finals i personally didn't have them as one of the favorites but they showed everyone why they deserve to be here in general so oh. shout out to them uh knz ic and nebulade but man, I'm just I'm I'm what a ride. That's all I can say. What a ride. And I'm so excited that we get to do this one more time tomorrow. And we got the big boys coming, Pinnacle Cup, DC three plus, so much action still ahead over here at ATS. It's been a it's been a wonderful day one of the main event and tomorrow we get to wrap it up with the Pinnacle Cup. Yeah, we get to do that. LZ Zen joining me here. What a night it has been, Zen Zero. That's been amazing. It's been incredible again. From me, from Zen Zero, from 52 Suite. What a series. We've got more. We got the Pinnacle Cup tomorrow. But for now, thank you all so much for joining. It means a lot. Stick around, obviously, for tomorrow's action. This stream will be catching the finals of that as well. But for me, again, from Zen, from 50, thank you all so much. Take care. Be well. And you'll be seeing us again very, very soon from the Ascend Tournament series. Thank you all so much. We'll see you all again. 50, say, say that quote, say that little hashtag that you have for them. One time for the people in chat. Rise beyond limits.
Hashtag rise beyond limits. See y'all tomorrow.